Uh, hello everyone, I've just, uh, I just got out of the shower, just give me a sec, I'm completely naked, so hopefully my cap, okay, good, the cap is on my camera, <laughs> fuck, hold on, one sec, I, uh, I intended to sleep for eight hours, go to bed at 12 o'clock, oh, wake up at eight, and then you know, spend you. half an hour getting ready. Thank you for the sub. But instead, um, I, I couldn't sleep, and I stayed up until like half two, maybe three, and slept until like oh, eight o'clock. So <laughs> it's like not you. as long as sleep as I'd like. But I had a nap when I tried to sleep earlier in the night, so it was whatever, it's fine. I'll, I'll live. Maybe. Do bits count towards donations? Ah, oh, thank you. Ah. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, what have I done? Thank you. Oh, I don't get nervous about stuff like this. I'm pretty good at not being nervous. But uh you know what happens? You know what happens? The 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 night before I'm nervous in a way where I can't sleep and then, you know, I wake up late and then I'm tired for it. But I'm not nervous. It's like it just I just have this like weird burst of it at the exact worst time. It's great. Oh. It's okay. Okay. I'm just gonna quickly um set up some oh, my teeth. Thank you. My desk around, just give me a sec. It's not a mess before I start. <laughs> By the way, while I'm like, like not, not even here. Oh. <sighs> okay. Uh, thank Six you. Piece. I'm ready. Ah. Uh. 
Good luck, bucko. Ah, thank you. I told you I was brushing my teeth so you wouldn't wonder what this sound was. Thank you. Love trans people, hate Graham Linehan, love rare, hate Donkey Kong, love this. Ah, thank you. Don't forget everyone, to keep a bottle of water with you throughout the stream. I'm not going to be here for all of it, but I wish you all the best what? and love you all. What? This will be the best and the worst stream at the same time. If you die on stream this money is invalid. Ah, thank you. Thank you for waiting. Just so you know, I'm as, you know, I'm as annoyed at how not early I am as I am because. Clap trans, clap right, I mean, clap. I'm just gonna stay awake longer. Ah, thank you. Ah. Thanks for being the trans ally we all deserve. I consider you to be my father. Hello, bomber guy. Can't wait. I live near the west coast in Canada. So I'll be able to keep you up. What just happened? This money is for mermaids. And Bon not being ready. Mostly mermaids. Ah, oh, thank oh, you. Oh. Ah, thank you.
Let's get some kitten in the chat plaza it trans rights for ever less than three. Ah, thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ. What are people who do- Okay, well, first thank of all, you. I'd like to say thank you to everyone who donated while I was uh, getting ready. Because you've basically proven me obsolete. Oh, Jeez. Thank you. We're halfway to the donation goal, and when we hit this donation goal, I have to cut off one of my limbs. No, um. <laughs> Finally, a good use for Bitcoin. Ah! Cool. Oh my god, it, it almost works. It, it decided Thank to be you. in less focus, though, but. Oh, god. Just a second, I'm gonna try and fix this. This camera. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what was this? Because this can actually be zoomed in more. That's the uh, amount of. Thank you. Actual. Oh. I just moved the thing around wrong. Ah! Mermaids. 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 Ah. Oh, thank you. I'm trying to move this as close to like center as possible, so then it looks nicer. Ah. Air I O E O L I O trans rights A U O I O U. This stream is almost as delayed as my NHS hormone replacement therapy. Yeah, I've been delaying it for months. I got like really sick. Okay, so me attempting to make this thing look good has just made it worse. I'm sorry. What even is that shiny reflective thing? Oh, it's a screen. You know, I, I try and enjoy- There's like one good episode of Father Ted with the sheep, where the sheep is scared. Father Ted wasn't even that Honestly, funny. Honestly, I could give or take the rest of it. Stop! I'm not even here! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Bomber guy is late. Communist inefficiency is proven. Hail Sobic. Here's got... wealth redistribution for charity equals. They've, they've got me. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Thank oh. you. I should have just not touched it. <sighs> That's probably fine. I'll adjust it as people command. Ah! That's really loud in my ears. Mermaids is great. Trans is great. Non-binary is great. Mm -hmm. Hey chat, drink water, stretch, breathe. That's a good point. <laughs> okay. Don't forget to support Project 64. Uh, th those, those, those boys work hard. Heck you, Glina. Um... Oh. I'm told that I, I, uh... Bye 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 hashtag trans rights. I'm told that, uh... Uh, it's, you can't submit a speedrun using emulators. So, this is not an official speedrun. I can't even... Oh. Thanks. Oh my god. Maybe the real DKC64 was the more the sense of existential no. despair we succumbed to along the way. So, what, what the fuck? Why did- I just looked at the donation thing and it's alright- Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> this is going to be amazing. I'm, I'm trying- from Germany. Stop! <laughs> I'm trying to set this thing up and it's so loud! Please turn up the alerts. Please turn down the notification- Okay. <sighs> Okay, Thank okay. You. I'm gonna open Streamlabs and I will consider turning that to the stream down. Because that's happening more often than it normally does on a stream. Bomb and a glass of object neck. Perfect. Uh, imagine trying to sleep through this. Oh, thank you. Okay. Donations. Ata, thank you. 
Oh, she is. Thank you. Edit volume. I'm going to turn the volume down to 20%. And we'll see what the, what the difference is. Let's just see. Because you have to hear it too, so it's less of a fun thing than when I do it. But let's let's see. Blaze it. So it has to donate over 6.67 now. Oh, look at that pretty face. Thank you. Okay, what else? Okay. Okay. Oh my god, there are so many people in the chat. Two th Fuck! What? An unexpected amount I of people are grabs, donating and watching the stream and leaving County, comments, and it's Hilton. way harder to keep track of than I thought. So I'm just gonna, oh, I'm just gonna start because you. there's no stop. I just okay. Can I set this thing to not be always on top because I don't want it to be. If you uh -oh. die from this, I will haunt your soul in the afterlife. Oh, go and worse, I, I will make you read Homestuck. I heard Hive Swap finished, so uh, ha ha. <laughs> I play. Okay, okay, okay. Best of luck not dying today for a good cause. You've made this trans gal proud. Also, Open. these alerts are indeed a little too loud. Okay, I can just turn these down manually. When is the Night in the Woods video coming out? <laughs> uh, soon, but uh, another video just came up first. I um, decided to do a thing about the Gillette stuff. <laughs> HBG Haiti, HBG Sog, HBG Haiti. File. Recent ROM, Donkey Kong 64. This is so loud! <laughs> I can make it quieter oh, for you, but you. not for me. Do subs count towards the donation stuff as well? Um, I don't know how to account for that, but I'll be throwing a bunch of my own money in at the end as well, so... Theoretically? Trans Day of Vengeance. Gray and Lina had better watch out. <laughs> the, oh, I'm gonna set a new donation goal. I was gonna set it to like a thousand dollars. I will delete Graham Linehan's Twitter, but it's already gone. Uh, by which I mean it's already gone past a thousand. Bad His Twitter's still there. Really oh yeah, the bad dragon emote that I never fixed. Made this off when the so big. Also, please everyone don't forget to drink water. Oh yeah, I've got my water. That's a, little, that's a little quieter. See? It's manageable. I'm here. I'm Unicorn, and where's my puppy dog? When we get 12 hours in, there won't be as many donates, so... His coconut gun mm. can fire in spurts. Just so you know, the emulation of this game is not ideal. You have to do a bunch of specific settings and plugins to make it um, work. And even then, I don't think it's possible yet on an emulator to be so completely in sync with the Donkey Kong rap. For you, if you know the words, you can join in to put your hands together <laughs> if you want to as we take you through this monkey rap. <laughs> ah. TK. Donkey Kong. <laughs> we started the game, but the game doesn't start for a long time still. Okay. How many donates do we have right now? 1065 because to change the goal you have to hit stop so no one donate for like a second fuck stop it that one didn't say anything it's quieter though oh how's it all sound quality stream Oh god. Hail Sobic. The sound of the game is too low. Oh. Oh, it is pretty quiet. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Oh, the game is way too loud. Okay, let me know if this is loud enough. And if possible, I can repeat the rap. Good thing you did a setup stream yesterday. Is that right? Is that perfect? Is that good? All right, good. Good luck. <laughs> it's dawning on me what I've just let myself in for. It's a big pull up. You may need to add an extra zero to your target. Fuck. That was really good. I'm sorry. Okay. 
Is there any chance you can turn down the notifications? I'm going deaf. No. Okay. I'm going to turn the, the notifications down a little bit because wow. I love Bob and I love my cute trans wife and I love being a lesbian. Oh. Thank you. Just started. The question is, should I let it go again because half of the thing was quiet? Or should I stop delaying the inevitable? Okay. How do I make alert boxes stop? Open alert. Am I a good uh, sound? Distance? Like, do I sound? Double down for every percent you don't get you power. It's pretty loud for me. I can turn that down for me, but I'm just wondering if it's good. And how the sounds are. Oh, no, I, I can keep adjusting them as we go, but I'll, I'll try and actually start soon. Okay. It begins. Alert box. Goals. Setting these things is, is maddening. Okay. I'm gonna guess that we'll be at about fourteen hundred dollars when I restart Just this. Okay, so starting round. You really are obsolete. <laughs> okay. The narration messages are really delayed. Okay. Good to know. N64 controller, worst controller. Let's get shit done. Bang. Okay, it just works. Wow. You just hit go. Okay. I feel compelled to donate before you've even started this. We're gonna let the donkey come around and go again because it was too quiet last time. Alright. The the, the the delay, the tw the donate thing is really delayed because like a bunch of people donate. <laughs> Which by the way, uh thank you very much. So I had a lot of options for how I was going to play this. I decided to go with emulator because that because there are crashes and destructions that can happen with old hardware, or with this game specifically because it, it has a memory leak if you play it for a very long span of time, uh, and would crash it. Um, with this, I can maybe save the state um, as well as a backup. Um, I can theoretically continue if there's a, if there's a hardware failure. So I figured that was the best thing to do. Make him 10% lower and donation volume a bit higher if possible. Okay, I'll, I'll do that and then we're ready. Thank you. Okay. There is no piece of music in the game better than this. So this is it in terms of music needing to be, sound needing to be good. So. Thank you. Okay, subs. I always wonder what that meant. Does that just mean he wasn't bothered for the rest of the games? He just didn't enjoy being in them at all. I guess most of the time he was having a shitty time. I love you, Dad. Oh, thank you, son. Thank you for donating, my beautiful child. Hail Sobek. Through his power, we I have don't. already reached the goal I'll... without any monkey business. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I've altered the alert box sounds. I think we got this. Noted anti the super soldier bomb goes on conquest to collect advice bananas. My financial advisors have warned me Thanks for that uh, no matter how many bananas I collect, uh, I will not be able to use them as part of a deal with the European Union. Um, Hello, I love my wife. I love my wife so much. <laughs> I also love your wife. <laughs> I no longer endorse Bad Dragon. Oh no. Okay. Let's do it. Expand Dong. 
I get to blame Graham Linehan for this now, instead of just my own stupidity and decision to do a ridiculous charity thing. Now I get to- it's someone's fault other than mine, so fuck you, Graham. And I'm gonna delete my test save, because I know it all works. Are you sure? It's already bewildering. Okay. Here we go. Now, official, official. Raising money as his namesake super weapon. I'm trying to talk. Stop. Stop it. Okay. Official speedrun decor says you have to start. The, the timer starts as soon as you hit go. As soon as the zipper Do you appears. By tipping, or is there a separate page? Um. Uh, tips will not. Tips and uh, subs will not count towards the goal, but I will donate the ones I get while I, while this is happening. Separately at the end, I'll figure them out. If I'm awake Never enough sleep. to do the maths, I'll do them during the stream. If not, I'll do them afterwards. How do I hit start on this? Edit open splits. Control. Okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, and now for the fucking 15-minute opening cutscene. I forgot how how awesome Donkey Kong 64 is. We will not break. We will not bow. Take our money and give it to the kind fish people. We need to ask the fish people if we can if we can Johnson have a hard border. Oh, um, I hope Boris Johnson. Um, I wish him a lot of luck in his political career because I know how hard the handicap of having shit hair is. No, I'm kidding. I hope he has hair even sh even shitter than mine, if, if such a thing is possible. Angry shouting skull time. Bad dragon is really good. Remember when we fucking put we put Kitten Boris Graham Johnson on Have I Got News for You, and said it was said it was said it was we being funny, and then he like became fucking awful. Okay. Well. Looks like we already met our goal. See you next year, Harris. No, don't go! Thank you. I just said it to the title of the stream to Donkey Kong 64 Nightmare. Go live notification. It's die time. I'm gonna tweet out that we're going. Okay. Twitter. Thought I'd get in on this. Hello, friendos. Thank you. Okay. We did it. <sighs> well, I have the game. I'm sitting here. It's going. Let's in let's all enjoy the plot of of this game. I'm even gonna mute my mic so you can hear. Actually, no. I really hope all the voice actors were just Thank people who worked on the game. For doing this, friend. You're welcome. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad someone's thanking me. You're the to, to thank me, yes. Yeah. Yes! Yes! Take that, all six of the others! May you defeat this game in the name of trans rights and outlawed Sobic. Also turn alerts on you. You are too popular. There's a good uh, Reliant Robin joke here. To do with the oh. car. Okay. I will turn donation sounds on later because there are so many. There are so many. Thank you all for your kindness and please stop. When I donated this, the game still hadn't started so many donations. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. I will change the sounds later. And also that thank sub noise, you. yeah.
He's Thank the leader you. of the guards. You know him well. He's finally back oh, yeah, to the give some help. Voice. His coconut gun can fire in spurts if he shoots them. It's been a herd. He's bigger, faster, and stronger too. He's the first member of the DK crew. Hadi K Donkey Kong is here. Ten tenths. Wood smooch. No hedge oh. oh my god. I want to play the prequel where all of that bad shit happens. No. What is it with me in prequels? I've got estrogen in my blood now and there's nothing Graham Linehan can do it about it, HBG sob. <laughs> you might need to make a new gold baby cakes. <laughs> might. Was that... Did that happen before... You said donate Morgan. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. It's terrible donkey. Oh, that's good. My controller's dead zone was slightly off. Okay, wow. This controller's too too subtle. You walk slowly okay. This is something I think is specific to this room in the game. It's, you can slip on these banana peels. I'm pretty sure that doesn't happen anywhere else in the game. I remember this happening as a kid. I'd come in this room just to do the slip thing because it was so weird that they actually took, they actually put that in. I love this opening theme. Okay. I'm glad that five minute opening is in there. If okay, this is a speedrun. It's gonna hurt. Let's take damage to save time. Together. Oh. Fifth just gifted a bunch of people subs. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse I'm sorry, Father, but all of my friends are dead. I have failed in my mission to protect the bananas. I've always wondered why they did this, where they like have this thing, and I assume it's like, I assume it's for sprite reasons. Like, oh, these camera controls. Oh, I'm I miss having like a controllable ferocious camera. Ferocious pride. I love this ferocious pride. Like, I assume it's because Cranky's lab is so big that it's like, like in terms of polygons and stuff that they just couldn't have it be in the game. Until, like, everything else had been cold, like, dong, graphically. Dong, dong, ha. Oh, it's actually his son, wow. I'd have thought you would be able to smell the work of a reptile by now. I really like the way this game... Can't hear the game bomb. You, you can't? Other oh, donations not reading. Um, I set some of them not to read. Hold on. You can definitely hear the game. Oh. This is a bit quiet. Okay, I'll turn it up again. Maybe the opening was musical, so I turned it way down, and then it turns out it could have been louder. Pow, pow. Yeah, donations are very delayed. Because there are too many. That will- that will solve itself. <laughs> yeah, I set it to, um, not read out. Uh, because there were so many, and... Well, we've got to- we've got to do the game. There's no escaping it. If I can't focus on these tutorial barrels, I might not ever beat the game. <laughs> so... Ah, oh, first coffee of the day. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. This isn't a let's play. I can... I can... I can not read the messages if I don't want to. Oh, can he do it? We did it! Our first collectible! 
We're well on our way. There's only about 29 million more to go. I, I hope that, like, whoever's watching this, like, after the fact, like on a channel somewhere, I wonder what context it'll be in, like, the last 24 hours of H-Bomb's life, and not what I assume it would be, which would be like, you know, a stream he did. Who knows what it will be. Quick and nimble and quick and nimble and quick and oh, nimble. Oh shit. I, I, what was the button? What did he say the button was? I didn't hear- I, I forgot what the button was. Oh, it's the right stick. Yep. Ah, there's the, there's the music. Well and that's a speedrun strat. You throw the orange at the tree and it blows up faster. It's classic. It's, it's a classic trick. Look at all the time I'm at 10 mi- oh god. It's longer than a Mark Sargent video. You gotta throw these at the tree as well, it saves time. Squawk. Okay, press B. Press B. It's doable. Uh, I've bound it to X on my Xbox controller because, uh... That's my life. It's where B was on the N64. We did it. Please turn the Screaming Skull Donate sound back up. Okay. I will do it when the initial influx of donations has happened, because otherwise it will literally just be hours of screaming. <laughs> I've dropped an epic husband. But like... I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's so loud. Like, Take it to the fridge. Oh god, someone probably donated that back when that happened and we're still not caught up. Okay. Here is the, the, the number one test of the emulator, because emulating this game, because this game basically was a nightmare to make. Like, they hacked this game together. Did you just hear that? The music only started once I had touched the the vines, and there's a reason for that. It's because the vines are a hack in the memory of the game. They, they do something bizarre to the game in such a way that when you try and emulate it normally, uh, the vines don't appear or just don't work. You swing on them, but whenever you try to jump from them, you drop straight down. It's a weird problem. You have to like run the game a very specific way in an emulator to properly emulate the bizarre way that this cartridge functions. Remember, the expansion pack uh, was needed to play this game, not for any reason that was in the game, but just because there was something that they didn't know what happened, that happened to be fixed by having it. Um, which I feel is the best possible... Like, that's such an interesting story, is like, they didn't need it? There was just something that had been introduced as a result of everything they had done to the with the game's code that just happened to be fixed by it, so they had to put this expensive thing in every copy, like... That's a fascinating story. I love these animations. It's just... What a... what a game. We did it. Okay. Check it out. We know how to hit our butt. I wish I could do that in real life. Just do a front flip and slam my ass into the ground with a shockwave. Is this an emulator? And if so, what emulator uh, this is, is it? Pro this is Project 64 with a very specific set of things running on it, which I he believe. Wants to join me in a drinking game. Oh. Take a swig of whiskey whenever there's a spring. <laughs> I believe this, it makes it work better, like there's just, I looked up some people who were like sure they'd found the way of making the game work as close as possible to a console because this game is very hard to emulate. Uh, the alternative was either like original hardware or the Wii U virtual console version, which is the version people speedrun right now. Um, speaking of speedruns, did you know you can swim through this wall? 
Oh, th what if this breaks the thing? What if I fuck my whole thing up by, like, attempting to do a speedrun thing? And, like, yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. I will ruin the whole thing. Just... I just realized, does, does Donkey Kong have infinite fucking air in this game? Did they just not bother putting that in? Or is that canon in the original games? Do you have a food bucket set aside? Oh, that's a good point. Like, one inspirational thing about this whole thing was when I went into my uh, kitchen and saw all the food I had prepared in advance. I've got a bunch of apples. I've got four liters of sparkling water for when I need to pick me up. I've got some a hoisin duck wrap. I've got uh, a pizza. And I've got a bunch of like healthy food. I've got a bunch of kidney beans and uh, soy sausages. So... You know, I've got I've got all the food I need. I've currently I'm just going through my water and coffee. I'm just gonna have some coffees for a while, but uh Yeah, that's my that's my plan so far. And for those of you interested, uh I do have a bunch of people lined up who said they would uh, they would help out and, and guest. Uh but I figure the first I, I should go as long as I can without needing any. Just you know just just push it. So we'll see. That is a sound effect. Yeah, so this game is run such a specific way. Um to, to cram everything in it and function the exact way they wanted it to, that there's still weird bugs no matter what you do trying to emulate it. So yeah, like, in, in the challenges, the music just doesn't start until something else happens. Like, it's just weird. It's really interesting. I would love to sit down with the developers of this game and have them explain some of the stuff they did. Uh, look up Conquer King uh, on YouTube. It's the channel of the guys who made uh, Conquer, or at least uh, three of them, and they're playing through it, and you can see there's some still visual bugs, and they're like talking about all the stuff in it, and there's a great bit where they miss a jump for the fifth time, and one of them just says, I fucking hate this game, I do. It's just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just great. It's, it's what a great... Uh, Conquer's better than this. Then again, I didn't play that as a kid, so, um, or like, I didn't even play all of it, so like, I don't have the memories of this that I, uh, of it, that I do of this, where it's hours of stuff. But we, we're going, you know, we're making, we're making great time. 16 minutes in. It's almost the length of the, of the speedrun. Get in touch with them, yeah. I mean, I'm thinking like, I, no joke, I, I was like coming up with the idea of having donation goals. Like, actual ones. Uh, like, to do different things. Like, maybe want to put the camera on or something. Or, like, a foot cam or something stupid. But, um... My... I settled for... The ones I settled for were to have a ridiculously high goal that is, like... A, a fallback... To me having to finish the game. Well, like, if we raise an obscene amount of money, I can stop without having to destroy Actually, my body, and I can come back sure do and do another stream later instead. Like, I can... That was an idea, but people, when I, when I fronted that, said, no, no, the point is you suffer. <laughs> so, no. You, but one thing I would maybe like to do... It's fun, I'm reliving the, sto a sto the story of a game from my childhood that I played 15 years ago. Oh, no, 19 years ago. But, um... In the new context of live and suffering, it's incredible. Uh... But... It's the first one, but we are. Uh, um, one thing I might have considered doing is, what if I do this again? In the mood because Donkey Kong joyful. But with a proper couch of guests, and who who would they be? Who would consent to this? And you know, then that way you could well, even I have people sub in and, and take the controller, um, and do the yeah, do it, do it, do it a proper way, do it the the desert bus for hope way. Uh, but I don't know. Okay. I'm not sure. Um, and one of the people, one of the people I would love to maybe do that with is the developers of the game. Like, have them sit and suffer and explain the game. Yeah, so... However it is I bound the controller is slightly wrong, because Donkey Kong will slowly walk Mistakes right. happening. But it's okay. Mistakes are happening. Oh no. I made a mistake. Okay, right. You can see the polygons are still glitching out, but that is just how it works. Okay. Let's go. <sighs> There's only 200 more of these. I 
I'm confident about my ability to defeat Donkey Kong 64. I couldn't as a child, but I've grown as a person. I've... I've become a man. It's... This is the- this is the turning point of my life. It's uphill from here. Yep. Yep, that's not- that's normal graphics. Having a normal one over here, at the entrance to Jungle Japes. <laughs> I'm having some japes of my own. That'll- it'll turn out that that happens because, like, this character is so ridiculously complex for the N64 for some reason that they had to, like, hack it into some other piece of memory that it's not meant to be used. So the emulator's trying to allocate space that doesn't exist or something. Goodbye. Oh, fuck. This game's hard. I take it all back. I better save in case I die. <laughs> How many different receptacles of liquid are within your reach currently? I've got my coffee, which is gone, and I've got my gigantic got thing of water. Receptacles of liquid are within your reach currently? Which is here, and fine. And I've also got uh, a Pakari sweat, which I just kind of keep for moral support. Oh yeah, and they ran out of space on the cartridge of voices already, so now it's all just text. This time, you'll need... So, I don't know. We've, we, our plan is completely foolproof. We have destroyed the Kong families and stole everything they belong to. As long as he can't, uh, spin in the air and slam his bum on the ground, then, then we might have a problem. So, I hope everyone knows uh, the plot of Donkey Kong 64. Uh, it's very in-depth. Uh, Donkey Kong has to uh, collect a lot of bananas, or his friends will be uh, uh, killed in a drone strike. Um, <laughs> uh, Donkey Kong has to prevent Graham Linehan from uh, making a complete ass of himself on Twitter again. Uh, and killing everyone's faith in British, uh, uh, comedy. I say British comedy, but he's Irish. But, um, when I made that comment, a lot of Irish people got in touch to say, yeah, you can have him. Which was the polite way of saying, please, please, please don't associate us with the British. Uh, and I, I get it. I understand why. Oh my god. That attack does not go off as fast as I would like it. I'm getting some- I'm getting some lag! I'm getting some lag! Um... Brexit ruined my faith in British comedy. Yeah! Uh, how's it going? Rest in peace in advance, Harris. <laughs> Good luck on the run. Thank you. I will take some of the proceeds of the donate to pay for my, um... My coffin? <laughs> but the rest will- will go to mermaids! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna skip the dialogue that I seem- that I feel is not- is- it's suboptimal to listen to the bird say, Oh, you need your friends to get the other bananas. I fucking know it, bird! Hey, baby, you remind me of Ireland, because I want to share a hard border with you. <laughs> oh, no! I have to play this whole game! I've just- I just remembered how big it actually is. The levels are way bigger than I remember them being. It's not like Banjo-Kazooie where the levels are fairly, like, surprisingly small. It's like, no, there's actually quite a lot of stuff in here. No, Donkey, please drop- Harlan Bomberman, I do hope all of these bites contribute to your donation goal, else why the bunnies else did you take all me bites? <laughs> I will donate. I will figure out how much the is on. Will they were. The run before saying but it doesn't go to the donation goal at the bottom. Because I don't know how to do it. So. Suspicious legs. All coffins are reusable. That's true! Once my body completely fully rots away, which will take more time than normal because I'm mostly preservative, um, is Serbic, the bad guy? we will... You can reuse my coffin. We can, you know... I'm sure we can find someone to dig up. Did I come all the way up here just to be told that I need to not be here yet? You little fucker. Oh, is this a... 
This is a chunky thing. They're already previewing the last member of the DK crew this early on. Like, you need a guy six hours from now to come do this basic shit for you. Oh, God. I, I can't even do the simian... The simian grab. I the edge grab. To help people realize how stupid Pile of Applebee's is. Aww. Well... Applebee's is bad. By the way, I hope you... Uh, have you all seen the Trump interview when he's got all the, the McDonald's? And... He's like... Someone's like, do you... Do you prefer Wendy's or McDonald's? And he just says... Don't I like all of them. Love right. I like all of them. They're all American. And you realize, oh my god, this... This is a... like... This is a man who cannot be stumped by anything because he refuses to be specific. Like, he can't even say, I prefer McDonald's. He, he just says... Like, on some topics, he's willing to be incredibly partisan. Like, you know, like, oh, the Mexicans, they bad. They're all evil, probably. And maybe, except for a couple or whatever. And then, but on any, like... On very non-contentious topics, he would be like, I like all of them. I refuse to take a stand on whether or not Wendy's is worse than McDonald's, which it is. McDonald's is better. Like... Ready to have a beaver brawl? Oh god. Ugh. I had a beaver brawl once. My doctor had to throw out my bed. <laughs> <laughs> you for being a decent human. Thank you. Ferocious pride. I'm only vaguely decent. I'm not even particularly good, let's be honest. I'm terrible. I'm turning down the bit thing because there's, uh, there's a lot of bits happening and it means that some people's things are being read. Okay. Text-to-speech. I will turn these back on when it calms down a bit, but right now it's just a constant barrage, and I need to, I need to focus on the game or we'll never get anywhere. You know, do, here's a fun puzzle. Do you know what the most, the most polygoned thing in, on the N64 is? Oh, it's shaken. It's, it's Homestuck text. Or Undertale text as a, as a true discerning man would put it, but, uh, yeah, the, the most polygon thing is Toad in, like, Mario Tennis, where inexplicably, he, um, he's, like, more polygons than all the other characters put together, like, for, in a, in a, in a, in, a, in like, a doubles game of tennis, all those characters are less polygons than Toad on that screen, like, he's just an incredibly advanced model for just a guy sitting on the character screen. Oh yes, that's right. Okay, I love that guy. I love the, his music as well. Okay. There we go. Now it's fucking time. Oh yeah, yeah, invert, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, invert the controls, my boy. It's classic. Oh, I'm gonna have to play a whole game like this. Okay. Where are the menu options? Oh, there aren't any. Oh, I bet it's on the, on the, like, options screen somewhere. Well, I'll just, I'll just learn to live with it. How could it, it couldn't possibly be that bad. <laughs> it immediately begin the sunny music. It's that bad. The worst part of this isn't going to be any of the specific problems. It's gonna be the fact that you have to come back to some levels a bunch or, like, when you have every character to to unlock stuff that you have for other characters because of the way this game works. There's a lot of, like, just ti massively time-wasting bullshit in this that there is no... just no excuse for. I'll save you later. I'm just gonna get this banana first. See ya.
Oh, you have to talk to him first for those things to appear. That... I remember when I, when I like, did a test, I played a little bit of this game before, thinking, like... Like, that was the thing that specifically stuck out to me as the biggest piece of shit thing I'd ever seen in my life. Um, you have to talk to Diddy Kong before those fucking things appear. And they're like in places where you have to go down the hill to 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 gain access to them. And it's like, fuck you, just put them there. I could have been I've got the thing already. Oh, we can we can start getting these, can't we? Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah. Per yeah. Yeah, this game was finished. As you can see, no, I'm kidding. They did a, they did a fantastic job in 1999 with the hardware available to them. Bro, uh, cool. They're probably my favorite like game company. People are still donating. This is intense. Okay. Did you know that? Oh yeah. <laughs> he kicked me off his team because he didn't trust me. Now uh, let me help you sabotage the machine. It will. It was right not to trust you, really, if you think about it. You know, after Brexit, that that'll be that'll be a British monkey, not some weird, not some weird ferret from Spain or whatever. Things will things will be back to normal. Cool. Wait. That is the finished blueprint image. That should be completely black. Uh. Again. This, this game's very hard to emulate. Do, 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 do. Okay. Can we hit all the switches from here? That would be ideal. I'm going to turn off the bit donation because that noise is still happening. I don't know how to turn off the bit donation noise. Oops. Ah, I thought I did. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna go. Oops. That's fine. I can get that back. This control is very... Very... Unsubtle. You have to be very careful with it for it to like... Just in time. That's the lowest, and then, like, that's a lot. Oh god, the inverted controls are making me sick. Hopefully I get used to that in the next 24 hours. Also, this camera angle is constantly looking down a little bit. It's, like, hurting my eyes. I'm trying to, like, look up a little bit with my brain, visually. It's weird, because, like, as a kid, these games felt... Like, so controllable. Like, this makes complete sense. I can manipulate the camera how I want. It all works. It's perfect. It's finished. It's a finished game. But playing it now, it's like, oh my god. You can't even turn the camera half the time. Sometimes a thing pops up. It's like, no, we control the camera for this segment. We know exactly what we want you to be looking at, and it's the ground. It's just, no, please, no. Okay. The question is, are the draw distances rendering correctly so that I can see the things I need to shoot? We are 30 minutes in already, and we haven't unlocked Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong you can unlock. I think playing normally as a child I unlocked him in 10 minutes. Oh, 
Okay. One more. Hey, hey. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, baby. It's all skill. Ah. Oh. Where's the last one? I forget. I forgot where the last one is. It showed me a cut. It physically showed me a cutscene. I forgot where it was. Can't be back here. They wouldn't put it all the way back here, would they? Across the river. It's above the cave in the water. Wait. Like there? Oh, wait. Do I have to, like, climb the vine and then go across? Heck, Graham. <laughs> above the water, yeah. Ah! Yeah, it doesn't draw in. You've got to be close to it to see it. Oh, God. I hope I've st I hope draw distances work on this game, or it's not going to be playable. Oh, and you can see red bananas now, just tantalizingly staring at you for the rest of the game, unable to do anything with them most of the time. I believe that's Donkey Kong's banana up there, so I should go get it. reach 4k do we kill baby hip I mean all you have to do all all K rule had to do then was have have a thing slam down just lock him in but no he'd even like put a cage there it'd be so easy to just trap and murder this this animal easy to it's so easy to do have you all seen uh, Peter's Peter 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 the the animal people. Have you seen their their commercial for going vegan? It's, it's pretty intense. You know, like a million people have seen it, so it's good branding. Like you know, people pe people will uh, people will watch it. I forget which uh, who's Kremlin this is, and you have to kill all of them. You have to kill him. Like at least once to figure out which one it is. I, actually, he might be a guy who we haven't uh, met yet. Oh yeah. Oh. Was, was that ours? I don't know. His his, his bandana was wasn't a color. Oh, it's purple. Yeah. So that's not ours. Goodbye. Oh. Oh, we can't come here for another 20 fucking years. Great, well, that's pointless. Thank you, Donkey Kong. <laughs> God, I remember that sound effect. It's so intimidating that they don't die when you hit them, they just fall down and go, Bleh, and they get up and fuck you up. Oh, that opened the thing, didn't it? Didn't it? Yeah. That's why you're a transphobe now, Graham. Oh, I'm not transphobic. I just insert the the transphobic thing. That's yeah. That's what that's what I wanted to do. Oh, you can you can climb that. Okay. Please t allow me to see that. Get it. There we go. going on here. Oh, this is just where I was. This is pointless. This whole thing's pointless. But I had to come here as Donkey Kong at least once to get those two bananas. They made sure you come here with every character. Oh, it's setting in. 
the understanding of what I've committed to is finally setting in. It's finally here. Oh, baby! Our first banana medal. We got all the bananas. Just kidding, there's another 25 you have to do. Something quite fun about watching the speedruns is people will go out of their way to not touch bananas that they don't need. Um, even if they're in the way on the path. They, like, make a point, like, I don't need these. So, there's a couple of bananas that, like, I will point out are ones where I know people will ignore them, even though they're, like, right on the track. Um, that'll be fun. My ve very vague speedrun knowledge. That's right. Gimme. There we go. Well, on the way to, well, on the way to 100 bananas for one character on one level. B to charge. Cool. Ah, oh, fuck you! Oh. Is there anything you do with can you do with this character here, or is it just run around in this small area? Is this really it? Ah, here we are. Wait. Is that a Rambi prevention? No, it's not. It's... Oh, that was it. That's literally all you can do. They give you very limited control of, like, what you can do with that character in this. It's super weird. And there's only, like, two of the characters. Like, the ostrich isn't in it. Which is a huge shame. Why are you demolishing all those houses? Uh, for bananas. There's some bananas in those houses. And so they're mine. Um... The Kong administration uh, needs to look for uh, dissidents, and uh, we'll find them. And uh, we tortured some folks. I don't care how many. I don't care how many beavers have to evaporate. We will find the perpetrators. Why do the beavers want- why do the beavers align with K. Rule and, and try to- and try to kill us? It's as if they hate us. I guess they just must hate freedom. <laughs> Thank you for the donates. <laughs> Hope you realise that you just funded the yeah, absolutely inane commentary. It's completely meaningless. There's no meaning here. Aww. Kira is gay. You mean... You mean... You mean Death Note Kira? Or do you mean... The guy from JoJo's? There's a lot of Kiras now. There's too many. We saved our progress. That's good. Oh. So how long is this run? Uh, as long as it needs to. It will... as Until I finish it. That's the... That's what... Yep, yeah, I've committed to that. I can't back out now. Well, I have 13 coins. I have all the coins. That's all the coins in the game. All 13 of them. That's the amount. I love that in this game specifically, they don't even like... They stagger the power-ups in games, but rather than like, have an excuse or just not mention it, the character straight up is like, I'm not gonna give you any more of my stuff until next level. Like, okay.
I love video games. I specifically love MIDI guitars. Kicks ass. What's going on here? Oh, it's a thing you can't do anything about yet because uh, you need a camera in five years. Okay. Hi, Casey. Ah, hello. Good luck. If you're around when I when I give up and need guests, uh, you're on the list of people who I will desperately call. Oh God, we need to come up with a new goal already. Jeez, wow. By the way, because this game is incredibly progressive, the weight problem is that he doesn't have enough bananas. Which... I think bananas are shit. I think they're a horrible... Just a horrible fruit. They're not even a fruit. They're like a dark... Like the... Like not a fruit. Like a shadow fruit. I love that. So he has to just stand there for his entire fucking life. It's just... That's why they get so thin, it's because they starve up there until someone throws hundreds of bananas into their mouth and then they can use their weight to escape from this pedestal. Oh, that still gives me chills. As a kid, when that happened, when the doors opened and the sparks came out, I was like... Man, this game's good, and... I have a different feeling now, but it still is pretty cool. That is a cool effect. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'm also gonna get another coffee because... Look, I know what I'm in for. I wanna energize. Ugh. I'm just here for the creepy, thank you.
Oh, jeez, it's cold here. Donate to an empty screen enough. You're gonna, you're gonna give me anxiety. <laughs> okay, right. So, I just remembered a thing that I was gonna do. Welcome back, by the way, everyone. Um, uh, I have. Okay, so because 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 I don't eat properly sometimes, I have a, like a weird vitamin supplement. This like this horrible green powder that tastes like dirt that you put in water and drink. And I drink it when I'm like, I need to make sure I have had enough vitamins for the last few days because I've eaten some, I've just eaten crap for a few days or something. And I feel like I will need to make sure I have all of the right stuff in my body at some point. So I don't know, late in the evening, I will. Oh shit. Oh fuck, I forgot the controls. Hold on, no, wait, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. There we go, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. This is my post-boss fight press conference. Oh, fuck. Ah! Is there any way to get health back? I guess not. I think I'm just fucked. Oh, you're gonna hit his face? Oh, fuck! Fuck! I'm gonna die to the first boss! Oh, you're gonna fight this guy a bunch of times, too. Yeah! Hard mode, if you die, I have to start over. N no, never. I will never do that. I will never do this. That was not part of the deal. That's not what I... I objectively was not pressing those buttons. We got him! Oh, fuck! We did it! Ah, relaxing. Squawk! Nice going, DK. K Lumsy. The spirit gate! Was it real or was it all a dream? We live inside a dream. Check out Twin Peaks if you haven't. I've heard this great new show called Twin Peaks. I literally just finished watching Twin Peaks. It's great. That's why I was late to the stream. I was still watching it now. Um, I hope my angle on the camera's right. Like, I feel like I'm slightly off center, but it's good to have a look at a, a look at my room or whatever. So there's still a shit ton to do, even after we've done the boss. But we probably need to unlock all the characters before we can fully even explore this level and get all of DK's stuff. So I should probably head out and just keep going until we have all the characters at least, and then we'll come back and get everything. And properly finish this level. Oh god. Already backtracking. Get a 40k donation. Four th I, in less than an hour we got a 4,000. Jesus. Thank you. Um, I'm glad that I can inspire people to <laughs> do this. Right. What do I do now? Where am I? <laughs> oh no. I 
I think we just we have to show off the key. We have to give the guy the key. And then he goes, cool, here's where the next level is. By the way, I like this this character. Hey, hold on. You didn't have you didn't have to bring that on. You brought that on yourself. Okay. This character. Just just the ghost, Wrinkly Kong. It's just, I mean, I don't know, there was something weird about this as a kid. I was like, that is a fucking ghost. You can fucking die in this world and just be dead. It's like, ugh. Then again, if ghosts exist, you know, that kind of makes being dead not seem not that bad. Like, I can just be a ghost, it's fine. I assume that's why people believe in ghosts, because like... Well, hey, that way. That way it's not so bad. But maybe they believe in ghosts because they're scary. I don't know. I don't know why people believe anything, really. I don't believe anything. I, I'm an absurdist. I, I invent new beliefs every five seconds. I had a friend who identified as an absurdist, as basically just like... I make stuff up! <laughs> like, he was a bad friend. <laughs> This is a metaphor for capitalism. You just have to sh if you shake the cage, then maybe it'll open a new door somewhere. Even if it seems like you haven't made any changes, in the outside world, maybe there's a monkey who can save you. And maybe you can help him. I don't know, I don't, I'm not sure where I'm going with this. It's a very deep and complex game. Do we have to actually climb up there? Comrade Kong. <laughs> yeah, he's the Kong they don't talk about too much. He's he's too hardcore. He had some pretty radical ideas about what to do with K. Rule. There we go. All fifty nine different similar kinds of jump you can do. Uh, only one of them is the appropriate height to do the specific thing. I think those mounds are where they hide the uh, secret coins that are such a big deal. See, on some uh, emulated versions of this game, you just can't swing on those, and you, you, you're you stuck. Anti-piracy measure. Make your game in such a bizarre way that no one knows how to emulate its code. Ooh. What's going on here? Oh, I think you need to unlock the the attack that it's asking of me here. Yeah, you do. I need to set a new donation goal. Oh fuck, we need another banana. You little. Okay, well let's just go past him. Oh. Um. Yeah. Nope. Hmm. Maybe if I throw. No, I have no idea how to do it. There is a trick where you can boost past him, but no, we need we need to go back. We've already fucked up. Help me, mother. Free the free the llama, okay? It doesn't matter. The point is we f point is I fucked up. Let it be fifteen thousand dollar. No. I'll just I'll just double it every time. I mean, these animations still have, like, still have a lot of charm to them, I think. They're not good by any stretch of the imagination, but they're... they're, they're, they're yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, fuck. You have to individually unlock every character's version of every power. Oh, Fuck! I'm cancelling the stream. I'm giving all the money back. <laughs> no, take me to the... Take me to Jungle Japes. 
Just take me. Just stop fucking with me. At least you can fuck around. That'll fill the time. Walk there. <laughs> you don't have to do this. I literally don't have to do this. But I've committed to it. Pete, by the way. Pete, who made the emotes and has been very helpful and forthcoming with stuff for all this. Pete is playing Player Unknown's Battlegrounds right now. I'm pretty sure Sean is streaming right now. You little fucker. Oh my god, are there more up here? Do I have to swing as well? Okay, maybe not. We'll come back if we need to. Oh yeah. You need to unlock his version of the cool rush attack I was doing with Donkey Kong the whole time. Alright, let's go get his gun. Let's go buy a gun! Oh, coins! Oh! Now these coins do not count towards completion score. And... There is a comprehensive list of them somewhere. But as we've seen, those comprehensive lists can be false. Um, I will collect all the ones that it makes, you know, I'll collect all of them. Um, and, you know, if I miss a few and it's, and the stream goes for 40 hours, then maybe, maybe you'll have to forgive me. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, good thing I stopped for those coins. So you have to use green coins to buy his gun. You can't just borrow some of donkeys. No, you have to collect individual inventories of stuff to trade for each character. Uh, for those of you who weren't alive in the 90s, um, we call that uh, gameplay. The, the spinning skull thing is still popping up. I'm glad I turned that sound off or we'd have just been hearing that for an hour. Oh yeah, baby. I love his jump. It's really high. It's a cool flip. We have a blueprint, so we do technically have one of Donkey Kong's bananas for this level. So I could have just gone there as Donkey Kong. In fact, maybe I will. I'll, I'll get Diddy's and then we'll... And then we can, yeah. Oh, this is timed, isn't it? Like, after the... Yeah, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Oh, oh good. What's up here? Oh, here we go. Oh wow, that thing's timed. It doesn't even tell you the timer. Here we go. Oh, good. Another thing that you can't we can't do yet. Fuck. Great. Thanks. That's 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 how Donkey Kong 64 works. That's just how it is. Are there any bananas here? Bless you, H Bong H Bong a guy. Aw. Thank you. That's that one that's very clever. I think he keeps you banana for every blueprint piece. Yeah. Oh, there's the other ones of his banana. I didn't see that before. Shit. Again, we have to come back here anyway because every fucking character has to be here. Uh. Oh, he starts with the Simeon Slam, at least. Unless I already bought that. Oh, maybe I have to go see Cranky individually to unlock more stuff. 
Maybe I'm backed up. On Simeon stuff. Oh, I, I don't have that power yet. Oops. My laser eyes will catch her. Oh, I, I don't have that power. Classic. Classic burnt face man reference. Ah, man. I'm glad David Firth is still doing stuff, but I haven't sort of seen his recent stuff. This last, like, couple of years. I've been so busy with my own stuff. Plus, he never finished the Meadow Man, and I'll never forgive him. It's a deep cut. There we go. Yeah, here we go. It turns out, when he means... When he means, go, come to the next level, come see me in the next level, Hurtus Cranium, what he actually means is, per character, every character has to visit Cranky in every level. Oh, I think, no, I think you'll have this one in the next level as well. Yeah. I'm not letting you have another potion. If someone else came in, so you've got to do it every, every single fucking character. I'm... I'm actually mad. I'm, I'm not mad. I'm laughing. I'm very happy. I'm having a normal one. I'm having a very normal time with Donkey Kong 64. If that's timed, I will fucking piss myself. I bet it- I bet if you teleport, it fucking cancels it. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't swim. Okay, it didn't- okay, it at least didn't cancel it if you teleport. Okay. I hate you so much. <laughs> just, just let me have it. <laughs> okay, we have two blueprints already. Yeah, boy. By the way, this is technically suboptimal because you want to, like, reduce the amount of times you watch this cutscene, and if you get one for every blueprint, then... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the blueprints thing is broken. So I guess we'll have to use the menus to find out how many blueprints we have. Donating to the Shoot Baby Adolf out of cannon into a minefield fund. <laughs> He's a baby, hasn't done anything yet! Like... Just bring him to the present and raise him in a different family environment. He's not, like, built... It's not built in. Oh, Graham Lenehan, though, you know. No, he was doomed. He was born wrong. He was born under a cursed sun. <laughs> I'm sorry, Graham. Did just compare you negatively to Hitler. But it was a joke. It was a joke, like you do. Remember when you did jokes and, like, didn't just tweet? Graham, do you remember? Comedy. And do you remember the, the, the Great Golden Age when you wrote jokes and didn't piss yourself on the internet for a living? Because that's my job, you know, you're muscling in on my terrain. Oh, now we can do the other thing. We can go in the, the, the thing that we solved that puzzle for. And by puzzle, I mean you walk, you walk up a thing. Any shit in here we have to do? I love that sound. Any bananas in the corner we gotta fucking get? Has Diddy? No. Okay. Congratulations on your on your big boss win. Oh my god. Are we still that far behind on donates? Is it still catching up? Wow. Oh jeez.
That's incredible. You people are so generous and nice, and I need to set a new donation thing. I did the thing wrong. I'm just adding to the time I will have to spend playing this game every, every suboptimal moment. I'm like, well, I have plenty of time. I am here for literally forever. There's no rush. But at the same time, I should be rushing knowing, you know... I don't want to tire myself out, though. I'm just gonna, just gonna relax. You know, let's just keep it chill. <laughs> See, the second time around, though, you have a head start because it doesn't show the cutscene. Pro tip. Let's do this. Let's go. It's Diddy time. Every area, has, every level has areas where characters get to use their own specific abilities to their best. And where I get to show off my platforming skills. My camera rotation skills. Can you manipulate the camera well enough to see where you're fucking going? I did that on purpose. Oh. I guess you can't do what I thought you could do with that attack? Oh well. Oh my god. Turn, turn, uh. yeah. That definitely, that. Okay, it's a little finicky. I think you have to actually hit it. Where did the th wh he just walked off on his own. Well, at the very least, I know where the thing is, but, um... Again, that could be an emulation thing? But I am very certain that the game is bad. Um... Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Uh, the, the, the nuts have to hit the, have to actually hit the face of the object and not just explode near it. Like, they've, they want to make sure that you hit the switch properly with your gun. But that, I was, literally did not point the stick in that direction. The character was just turning when he did the jump. Yeah, okay. Some, certain animations, like, things require the character to turn around, and if you're hitting jump, they will jump in the direction they've been made to turn in. Like, I'm not pushing up when that happens. That's just how the game works. That's just how Mafia works. So, what episodes of, um, the IT crowd did Graham Lennon actually write, do you think? Because I have this running theory that... Most of the work is done by the people who work for him, and then he gets to take the credit as the lead writer. Because, like... I, I think Graham might have worked in IT at some point. Like, maybe? But, like... Oh, yes. Oh, no. Give me that. I need that coin. I need that. Yeah, okay, we got it. Okay, there we go. Oh. Ah. We did it. We did the simplest possible thing. Now let's get out of here, Scoob. But wait, there's more. Cool, oh, no, that's cool. What's going on here? Okay. okay. Right. Oh yeah, these fucking guys. Ah. Uh... Oh yeah, when you jump with with him, he if you the third jump is like a big jump for like no reason. I hope you're never required to do anything precise with this, with that move, with the move set of the first person shooter bit.
Oh, you need the simian. You need to slam something, don't you? Here we go. Oh, that just opens the thing. Ah, uh, oh, here we go. I figured it out. I figured it out. Fuck you. These guys take fucking forever to kill. Oh fuck. Ah, th the subtlety with which they control. We did it! The day's saved. Is there anything over here we need to do? Nope. Okay, good. Oh, what? Did he sounds exactly like Miss Piggy? Oh, it's true. Maybe that's what he is. What? What? You can fucking go behind them? <laughs> you little turd of shit. Fuck you. What? Oh, it was a thing. I'm, sw I'm swapping over to a speedrun of uh, of uh, a game I've played many times. Um, you have to burn the rope. Oh my god! That it's impossible. It's impossible. No human has depth perception and control. Especially control that relates to this piece of shit camera. Fast enough to... What is even in here? Okay. Give me those. Oh. Oh, my fucking brain. Oh. All right. Let's slow down, speed up. Lean left to right. Press A to jump. Yay, coin. How many coins do I need? Well, guess I'll never know. Oh, fuck you. What? This is an... Oh my god, this is terrifying. If I fail this, do I have to do all that again? Or do I have to like, do that incredibly difficult platforming segment again? That segment was so hard. I'm not even joking you. Oh, fuck you. Oh, oh, yeah, we did it. Oh, shit, 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 shit. What are you supposed to do there? To go, go slowly. Oh shit, 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 shit. I'm being chased by TNT. I didn't know that was on the line. Ah. Ah. I know what you're thinking. If you have motion sickness problems, does this hurt your brain to look at? Yes! Yes, it does! It's... it's, her it's horrifying! Oh, fuck! I pr ah! No! Go back! Oh, fuck. Fine, fine, fine. 
You can't possibly need that many, can you? Oh, oh yeah, we got it. I see through your devious trap. Yeah, boy. Yeah! This is the greatest achievement of my entire life. That took me five attempts as a child, no doubt. No doubt that completely destroyed me as a kid. Okay. The amount of coordination that required of my ad taxed my adult brain is far too vast for me to have been able to do that as a child in the first try. Oh, perhaps even sadder. What if as a kid it was way easier for me? Oh. Okay. We have to... How many bananas do we have in here? 60, yeah, well, a lot of those might be unlocked when we come back, so... It's from Disturbed by Conveyors and Dynamite. Bang. Ugh! Bad news, not got anything. Here's some, here's some bullets. That's not, he wasn't the one I wanted anyway. I, I went to the wrong guy. Never send a monkey to do a ferret's job. Can you get on top of this like this? Or do you have to climb the thing? Just waste as much of my- every second matters more because it's a second that I have of sentience. I'm not gonna be like this forever. I can only function at peak capacity for maybe two hours. Glenn and more like glues. <laughs> Thank you. Go backwards with DK. Oh. Mm. 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 You cannot skip that. I can see why speedrunners wait until the end and do it for each character at the end and just get all of them. Yep, blueprint thing's still broken. That's okay. We're gonna get all of them, so... Right. I think we are for now done with this level. We finally have enough bits to do stuff. And Diddy's like a pretty mobile guy, so I'll bring him in. I'll sub him in until... Until we get a faster character like, uh, Lanky or... Or... Snibbles. He'll top it up. Fuck. Thank you for thank you for reminding me. He was just. And I bet if you leave the level, you're gonna do something ridiculous like do it again to get it. This fucking game. At least they knew. They knew you would forget and come back, and that they put the thing right there. Do Yay! Whew. Oh, there's a thing there. Hello. Yeah. That's me, king of the bananas. Where does this even go? Oh, we don't even know right now. I guess it remains to be seen. Did somebody say bits? This will not be a timely comment. Wow. How behind are these things now? I mean, I'm glad. It means we're backed up on people donating. That's cool. I love how tiny you get when you go through the portal. They like just make the model really tiny in front of the portal to simulate going through it. Like, look at that. It's just... They just make it really tiny on the, on the spot to try and simulate going through it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a good game. This game's good now, because I beat it. I beat one level, sort of. This, this stream is great. Background noise for recoloring Sims 4 shit. Cool. I've heard really good stuff about Sims 4. I've really appreciated um, 
the coverage Kotaku has done of The Sims and uh, No Man's Sky, like, the wealth of just actually keeping up with games that continuously update and have new stuff and, like, really passionate communities, like, that's really, really interesting stuff to read about. Um, check it out. I don't know. Or, you know, read whatever the recent thing is. You don't have to read all of them, but it's cool. All the weird shiny effects of metal in this, and like especially items in um, uh, in Legend of Zelda, just the shininess of them looked so cool to me as a kid. Just like the way they the way they did the the graphics for shiny things on the N sixty four just looked cool in a way I can't quite put my finger on. Um, Oh, do you have to then do something else to actually get the banana? Or is this a multi-part adventure? Is it gonna come back as Lanky Kong? Yeah, I bet, like, you've gotta do eight million different things to finally get this. Just, I, well, I only tried one thing. I tried jumping. And maybe I can, in fact, get that with the jump, but... I will have to eventually get it, but I'm sure when we have more characters, the truth will fully be revealed to me. Show me the, the bananas. He's dead. He went back to hell where he belongs. If I recall, they eventually give up on having cutscenes at all. You know, you can exploit your workers better if you treat them like friends. K. Rool. <sighs> Listen, K. Rool, I understand that you're in charge, but have you heard of neoliberalism? You can exploit people so much better. Something I think is quite cool is you, you do later gain access to that actual room uh, in the game, which is pretty neat. And that it's not just a cutscene room, you actually physically go there and can collect the stuff in there. Okay. Of course you have to collect all the stuff in there. You've got to collect it all. Alright. Oh. Already been suboptimal. I should have gone there as Donkey first because he's got the thing. Ah, oh, it's the camel from the thing. Is that the same camel? It's not the same camel from Banjo Kazooie, is it? But that would be cool. No, the no Gobi is a different guy. He's he's way more depressed. I'll be right back. Ah. All the fucking stuff. We haven't even got all the co like the real collectathon happens once you have everything, and we've got all the levels, and then we have to actually just go through and find everything that I missed. That's gonna be the pain. Like just beating the game normally, I'm not too worried about. But it's it's finding everything that scares me. But uh, anyway, I'm going to the <laughs> piss gang. I washed my hands, by the way. Oh, I've still got the hand washing emote. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna change the. I'm gonna change the donation goal again. This appear, appears to have been a a thing. So yes, yeah, so four thousand nine hundred dollars. Okay. Oh well. 
Uh, There we go. Graham Lennon and the Race from History. New goal. If we can crowdfund enough money, I will delete him from the time stream. <laughs> I'll call my friend N Tropy. Oh, it's. Oh no. Oh no. Is this. Oh no. I think I remember this character design. Oh no. <laughs> really wanted to fuck that monkey. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> oh no, the way they animate, oh no. <laughs> it was the 90s. You know, for the young ones out there, you know, the human consciousness was very different before 9-11. You know, we could entertain these childish fantasies of having sex with any... with any attractive monkey we liked. And then... And then, you know, the towers went down and everything was different, you know. And then, you know, all of our games were about stopping terrorists. It just... You know, this was... this was a... I've never said this word before. This was a, this was a prelapsarian time in human history. <laughs> okay, the funniest thing about these instruments are they kill all the enemies in the area, like on screen at least when you use them. And but their but their actual use in the game is as an item. You have to use them on a specific spot to like unlock something or do something. And each character has their own instrument. But the thing that they forget to account for is that as soon as you get instruments, which is level two, you can kill all the enemies on screen. So there are so many challenges in the game where it's like, here's a bunch of enemies, and they forget that you can play an instrument and kill them all immediately. Which I think owns, but... Mm. Ah. Let's see how many ban bananas we need. 120. That's 60 each. Oh. Oh. I love these boys. What even is this? Ah, we're only an hour thirty in. We're fuck. That's an. Jeez. You know, maybe me and Sean um, should have advertised the twenty-four hour stream Sean did more because uh... <laughs> that would certainly have helped. I bet Sean's kicking himself. <laughs> no, he's not. He's probably playing Player Unknown Battlegrounds and streaming it and having a great time. Those were the days. Remember when we could have had fun? I wonder. Do, do you think they? Do you think they mo the 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 animations of the Lady Kong, the lady uh, who sells the music? Do you think they like hired someone, or do you think they just were like, I know exactly how. I know exactly how this character moves. That was something that I always thought was um. If, if, if I, I assume you've all heard of the game uh, uh, Product Number Three, PNO Three, um, is a game 
It was one of the like, what the f that you should be dead. I killed you. The what well, is part of the like the GameCube uh, Capcom deal or whatever? I think uh, Resident Evil and Killer Seven were some of the other ones. Anyway, oh what the fuck? Oh you fucking you got me. The a part of the a part of the, you know it's not a very good game, but it it. It sold fairly well, I think, and I presume it was because the main character is, is, is an attractive lady who, with lots of different revealing costumes, and I never actually bought the game. But something that I found interesting was um, I read about the animation stuff later, and it wasn't mocapped. It was all, all like even, and there was no inverse kinematics or anything. It was all hand animated in 3D. So like someone had to actually do all of it. There were no like, this was like a time before like jiggle physics or anything. So like someone had to manually animate them all and I believe the game's director himself did them all and like I do kind of despite it like being like very oh good it's not, it doesn't look like it's timed that's quite nice and if it is timed it, the tongue will come back and I'll be standing on it so basically yeah it's doing my job for me oh oh unless he does the wrong fucking jump Oh, Diddy! Oh, I hate you so much. Oh, oh, this game's fucking. Oh, shit! I hate this game. Oh, that's not gonna get old. Sorry, I just. That event itself wasn't very. wasn't very. wasn't that terrible. I didn't lose that much time. But what just flashed through my brain is the amount of times that will happen in different forms over the next 40 hours. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> oh, the controls are so bad. You have to... You have to be so careful. Oh! Like, I assume on the N64 controller, for somehow it works magically. Like, on the original hardware, it works perfect and it feels fine. Because as a kid, that wouldn't have been a problem. But wow. Oh yeah, there aren't even shadows to tell you where you- No, there are shadows, yeah. Someone said there aren't shadows to tell you where you're standing. I think there are in some areas, though. Oh! And right next to the thing that you need th this item for, which you can just miss if you just if you didn't walk into that lady's thing, you just you just didn't have it. The items for it, if you didn't have any, are a different item. They just fucking taunt you with collectibles for an item you can't possibly have yet. They just they just want you to know how much fucking shit there is. They're like, we got you. Do you have any idea? Oh, the best part is, they don't even sh- because they, they know it would be fucking ridiculous. They know what an absolute laughing stock they would be. Um, they don't show other Kong's bananas until you get the Kong. Um, so like, we can't see Candy- no, Candy, that's the- that's the- that's the- that's, that's the sexy monkey. <laughs> no, uh, Tiny, um, Dixie, Lanky, Chunky, Smalbo, Smiggles, Biggles Wade, Slambo, or Hambo as bananas. Um, because uh, if they showed them all, all the time, you'd be just walking around through a gigantic seething mass of uncollectible bananas that you can't do yet, being constantly... And, like, th their game would be a fucking laughingstock immediately. So what they've done is is go, well, we'll hide them until you get the con. So then it looks like, it looks like there isn't too much fucking bullshit. And like, that's completely devious. Now, you, you are supposed to do some kind of trick to like run into these, but if you run on top, I think you can, no. I thought, I thought I knew a trick. I do not know the trick. I'm not clever. I don't even know how to hit these switches. Do you shoot them? If you kill these guys, they just respawn, I think. Wait, hold on. Let, let, let me do the... There we go. Yankel Kong! 
<laughs> Honey Kong. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, there's a K there, but is that the K at the beginning or at the end of Kong? I, in my head, Kong is spelt with two Ks. Do I just shoot them? Kong. Oh, oh, I've got to hit the thing first. You got to just, you know, just, 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 just fuck with you a little bit more. Why? What what purpose does it serve? Making them do that extra one step. Also, I love that you can actually theoretically get this wrong. It, it's treating it as if it's like a real- Like this is almost like- This is the kind of avant-garde satire I would put in a game. Um, if I made a platformer game now, which I almost did, um, of like, have a thing that's not a difficult puzzle in the slightest, and every tiny bit of it there's a cutscene indicating the very obvious thing you did. Like, just each fucking one it shows you the thing. Like, that's really... I collect purple bananas, which you can now see forever taunting you. I'm having a headache thinking about all the bananas that you can't even see right now, but which you will not- Oh yeah, immediately, there they are. There they fucking go. Can't- can't touch them. <laughs> this is my fate. I chose this fate, I condemned myself to this. I'm like Dr. Faustus, you know, I knew it was coming. And I said, yes, sign me up. Can you go faster, Diddy? Thank you. Dr. Faustus is probably one of my favorite plays. Uh, Dr. Faustus. And then like, I know, I know it's pretentious to have a favorite Shakespeare play, but fuck you, I have one and it's, and it's, uh, it's Titus Andronicus. It's the one everyone's like, <laughs> you know, all the all the really pretentious people are like, what? <laughs> Fuck! It's the best one. It's got so much violence in it. A good director can do all, have all kinds of fun. Oh fuck! Uh, with you know, with all the violence. Don't these guys explode or something? Oh, they're like really hard to kill. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm being fucking murdered by these little guys in barrels. Let's get out of here, Scoob. Ah! Um... But, like, there's, there's so much violence in it. There's so many good themes. It's, it's like, very anti-imperialist. It's very, like... Did you know that fascism is bad? Like, in, a, in like... In the cool way, where they show you how bad it is directly by murdering everyone in front of you. It's, it's great! Um... Squawk. Hello, Tiny. There are five golden bananas for you to f Yeah! Oh, I, I know! Why did you feel the need to tell me that? Don't fucking remind me! <laughs> you piece of shit! Oh, I forgot how cool this character is. So happy. And um, they can do that and move immediately. And like, Diddy has to fucking buy it and then it's not very fast. I thought she had an attack when she spun it. Oh, it's, that's, you have to buy that, don't you? You have to, you have to buy the cool move where she flies around. For f three coins? I forgot she had a saxophone. That's cool. That's a cool instrument. I remember when I saw Godspeed You Black Emperor live and they have two- they have like two drummers. It's great.
All kinds of things are likely to happen. We did it. I don't even remember what these... Oh, those are for the special power thing you don't even have yet. So at least we have three characters to get the bananas. Oh, you fucker. I guess we also have to get donkeys while we're here. They look very similar to the bongas for the Donkey Kong for Donkey Konga, which I liked. I like that game. I never clapped though the the bonga game. I always tapped the side of the drum. It was way quicker. I put it's great, and then you have another hand that you can drum with more easily. I know some some of the ones where you can where you have to like clap a lot because it's like continuous. You can just yell. You just go ah! It's great. I like that game. <sighs> but the N64 and the GameCube are like... I think people exaggerate how bad they are in retrospect. Um, in my opinion. Like, because they didn't sell as well as the others, or because, like, a lot of their problems are really glaringly bad in retrospect. Especially on original hardware, where there's all the bad texture filtering stuff. Like, it's... there's a lot of good stuff on there. Oh, this is, isn't this the barrel thing I unlocked? I gave my bananas to unlock this. Can I... Do I have to do something to use this banana? This, this barrel? Oh, is, is, is it supposed to be faded out, but it's not. Eternal Darkness, yeah. GameCube's, GameCube's good. I want to play Body Harvest. I always meant to play Body Harvest, and I never did. It looked really violent. Um, what is this? I guess I'll find out later. That's a link, yeah. If, if people want to donate, there's a link under the stream. This should be a, just an icon. I haven't made a special one for the stream, but uh, I could do, I could do next time. Next time, next time I do a stream like this, I'll have a special thing that says mermaids or something. When I inevitably do another one of these. Oh, that one's got a pineapple on it. Does that mean possibly there might be another Kong who uses a, a gun that shoots pin uh, pineapples? Can you can you imagine? In early betas of this game, they shot bullets from their guns, uh, but they had to take that out because it turns out that uh, it's you can't make a game for children with guns. Remember remember those the good old days? Now you know we let now we let kids play murder simulators, and that's why all the crimes are, are high. That's, that's, that's it. That's all my, that's the structural analysis I've performed today. Um, we need to prevent children from being able to play uh, Call of Duty 17. Um, and not reduce the availability of uh, assault weaponry. Because that would be against the free market, but banning video games, that's just normal. No, oh, I don't have his power. Oh, I've got to find. I've got to find Cranky, haven't I? I need to take it to the fridge and fast. <laughs> Sorry. You can do it, Diddy. I believe in you. No. No. I guess we have to do something else first. I guess I'm just like, 
I'm trying to sequence break. Yeah, I, we, we'll come back to this when we have. I mean, his his power, spoilers, is a jetpack. So, you know, when we get that, we will have... We will have the opportunity to get there. Spoilers for Donkey Kong 64. Wait, was I already... I was already Diddy here. I already Diddy the Did. Video games. Alright. Where were we? The next uh, time I do this game, I will have hacked it so all the sound effects are a cappella sounds made by me and to my mouth. Did I somehow not... Did I somehow miss the switch that allows Donkey Kong into here? How does he get in? What's going on? Is Donkey Kong not allowed in? What's happening for him? What even is that door? What's going on? No, oh, please save. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Donkey cannot. Donkey can't. Haha. <laughs> Where are you? If the camera was controllable, I'd be able to get a much better set of bearings, but... But no. Did I just not... Can I just not see? Am I blind? What's going on? I saw those bananas. I can at least salvage this. Oh. That's where the thing goes. Okay, okay, we figured this out. We figured out the basic shit involving where the things are. If I could look around and the draw distance wasn't, you know, an N64, I would have been able to... This wouldn't even be a puzzle. It would just be, oh, there's a thing I have to climb over there. But instead, like, it's a trek to discover the things. Uh, are the bananas up here for every character to have to collect? No. Okay, thank god. You would have to climb all three trees once. This time. They were lenient. I want that exact guitar. I wouldn't even play it ever, just... <laughs> That's cool that it incidentally murders that guy when it opens the thing. I like that. Beep, 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 beep. We're, we're, we're almost 60% of the way to erasing Graham Linehan permanently from history, from time. He'll disappear back to the future style, and his co-writers will instead be credited with the work they did on the, on the various projects. Love that I can't even collect that. Even though I killed him and he's there and he attacks you every time, I cannot get that yet for no reason. Because it's for someone else. It doesn't matter if you earned it. Can't. I'm just taunting you. The, the... the only reason the levels are big is so that you don't, you don't see just how much fucking stuff there is. Because you know, if you had to put all this stuff in a small area, people would see just the amount of bullshit you'd inserted into your game. Are there multiple exits from in, from this level? Because I feel like we've already found the one for this level. Do you know what's going on there? Oh. Does this tell you how many bananas you've done for each guy? Oh yeah. Let's feed these boys so that we know. Let's feed these boys. <laughs> Send Grey Hamlin and Ham to the Phantom Zone. <laughs> Thank you, Tal, 29 2000. <laughs> right. Boop <laughs> boop. Hong Kong. I perfected another some more of my bullshit here. Boop 
boost him high as. <laughs> Jump into my barrel with your face on it. I'm afraid it's a bit thirsty. Everybody drink. Thirsty Kong. This for every character. Not go much farther. Yeah, give me, give me money here. Strong Kong. <laughs> Temporarily invincible. You have to pay to unlock the power to make one character invincible temporarily in some areas with a barrel. And then it also has a limit. Uh. Oh, good. Good. Oh, and she doesn't have a gun yet either. It's basically useless. Well, either way. Give me the... Give me into the fucking... I have trouble getting into the barrel with some characters. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. And I wasted one of the most precious resources in the game. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, that's a really cool uh, lens flare effect, but it's happening in possibly not the most ideal place. Ugh! moving too quickly for my human brain. This game was built for children in the 90s. You have to be a child and in the 90s to fully f fully master it. You have to be prepared for this particular bullshit that takes place in games in that period. There we go. Teleport. Oh, you fucking... Yeah. I wonder if Electrical Beasts will make stuff. I remember I checked on Electrical Beast a while ago and they were still doing stuff and I was like, yeah, that's cool. Keep going. The Joltian of Let's Plays. Ah! No. Oh, I just fuck up! Yay. That's a cool sound effect. Any more collectibles for me? I'm sure there's another infinite amount of stuff that I've missed. is to go back to a previous area um, so I can explore that part first because I know I know what I was doing in this area I know what, what my objective was and that was to use a barrel to do something no way I already did that thing no no I just I just imagine I just I just imagined <laughs> I just imagined something <laughs> no I'd already done the thing. <laughs> that problem solved itself ages ago. <laughs> I'm already losing my mind and it's only two hours in. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Lord have mercy. Ah! Oh! I'm just kidding, there apparently is no God. My prayers have been answered. Let's fucking do it. 
Oh, give me those, give me them bananas. It's a bonanza. Ah! We did it. Do I have to go through again? Ah! Yeah! This is the best music in the game, by the way. I love MIDI guitar so much. It's just the ba most badass thing in the world. This is the longest cutscene in the game. <laughs> and it's just and they played the best song over it. Thanks, Diddy. You fancy a test of your flying skill Oh, 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 well, yep, yeah, that's what I wanted to happen. Thank you. <laughs> that was just to unlock the ability to test your skill. That wasn't even the test. Hello. Oh, here you are, Diddy. I thought you got lost. No, I just... just the cutscene just fucked me up. Follow me around the level and throw through all the rings. Or die! Infinite. Yeah, that's right, fucker. Uh, uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, this game was finished. No, 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 uh, bleh. ah! Hey, I can't fly any slower. Fuck <laughs> yeah! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh. This game's controls are fucking fantastic. Oh, I love that. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's slap that shit in my veins. It's timed, and they they deliberately fuck you to start with. What the fuck? I objectively touched the ring! Ah! I hate you! If we do this in three hours, we'll beat. We can. We can still beat the official fastest run. We can do this. Right. Yep. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Oh wow! I actually. Okay. If you mash A, if you skip the thing and mash A, you can start with the power, which might give me the edge I need. You little. No. 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 What? This. It's very hard to detect where the ring's hitbox is. When it turns to face you, no matter what. Uh, ah! <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to hours three through five of the Donkey Kong 64 speedrun. <laughs> oh. Oh no. <laughs> this is it. This is what I signed up for. The full... The full breadth of what I have given myself as a challenge has revealed itself to me!
All I know is darkness. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> Mother of shit! <laughs> it controls so badly! Everyone who's ever speedrun this game 100% has beaten this. And they probably did it first time. You can do this. There is a way of doing it. Okay, this one's a wash. I can't even get in the fucking barrel. Yeah! No, let me... There we go. At least we'll start with the power. Okay. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, you fucker! It's really a wash whether or not... Like... You need to manage your momentum, or you will continue to drop for far too long. You've got to, f you've got to feather it, but sometimes you've got to blast it. Just give me the that I'm t yep yep. Yeah, yeah. Just yep yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. Oh, he deliberately flies so close to the fucking ground because he knows he can kill you. Where did you go? He knows you will die if you touch the ground. So he does it. He's like, hey, yo, did you know? Did you know this game is badly programmed? I'm gonna put a ring here just to fucking murder you. Mm -mm. <laughs> but we did it. I'm surely that's the only test of flight in the whole game and it's fine. It's 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 fine from here. All the rest of the games, mini games, are, are good. They're normal, and this is. I wish that were true. And um, this is wish. I already know. Someone is going to download this stream later, and record me saying that, and cut to the rest of the game. Oh, oh. Please give me back my melons. Does this give me full? Yeah, it does. Okay. Oh, baby. Okay, we did it. Now, we did it. Now, what are we gonna do? This level is fucking huge. And there are five characters. I hate this so much. I can calm down, but that gave me a burst of energy. The anger has powered me up. What a shitty fucking game. No, no, it's, it's okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's just... Hey, Diddy. That, 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 that ring directly close to the ground is a deliberate test of your ability to go... Oh! Like, that is them! Literally, like... It, like, that's the developers making eye contact with you and saying, Yeah! We want you to lose this! This isn't a fun test of skill. We know that if you hit the ground, you lose the power and the whole thing's over. Can you manage the game's p particularly weird and eccentric momentum system you learned five minutes ago? In time? Also, the rings turn to face you, so you have no idea how they actually are, or how they look. Just... <laughs> it's incredible. Is there something I can touch here? What? Do I just jump? Oh, I guess I have to fly it. Bleh. Of course. So of course, I have to use Stiddy's abilities. That makes sense. Ah. I have two melons now, I just realized. Yeah. Isn't the maximum you get like three? He can't quite reach the barrel. You have to do a big jump into it. It's fucking me up. We did it. Nice. We do it. We've already got three hundred dollars. We just need this blueprint and like one more. 
What's in here? Is that it? Oh, okay, yeah. Damn it. If I could angle the camera, that would have been an easy jump. Wishful thinking. If I could angle the camera... What are you playing at? This is the N64, mate. You're lucky that there is a camera. It's... Fighting with the camera to turn to face the direction I'm, I'm walking. I'm locked in combat with basic game mechanics at all points. Like, you need a license to operate Donkey Kong 64. Like, I feel like I need to pass a course. I don't have enough I don't have enough pink coins. What kind of fucking racket is is wrink is wrinkly old man Grandpa Kong playing at with his five proprietary currencies? Oh yeah, you have to unlock Tiny's power for um for that to do anything. Who do you think I am? An eagle? That's cute. It's fine. It's fine. It's normal. I should probably look for coins as tiny. I bet I missed some. I have a whole level to go back to to collect more things, but I, I need to unlock all the characters first to really be sure. I won't have to come back yet again. Snide's barbecue. You want anything useful on top of you? Probably not. Diddy Kong is NB Kong. What's, you know, what's Graham going to do about it? <laughs> That's the wrong Kong. That's the wrong one. Someone wrote Diddy Kong and it made me pick him instead of the one that I was wanted to do. Diddy. Oh, that's where the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everything is just annoying enough at every moment <laughs> to be a huge pain. It's like, oh, it's another couple seconds of your human life you have spent doing something simple because the draw distance isn't far enough. Cool. Well, now, now we can buy the power we want. I bet that's where that thing leads. That'd be really convenient if this teleports me. Oh, don't even have... Uh... Don't even have it. It's just... Please, continue. The banana port pads were a good idea. In, um... In theory. In practice. The, the places they put them and where they all go are a complete mess. They programmed a system that kind of made sense. And then... It turned out that they made the worst game of all human time, so it, it doesn't... It's not quite enough. It doesn't measure up the way you'd hoped it would. There's more bananas there I'm gonna have to fucking get. I'm not too worried yet. Let's at least get this thing and do the stuff first. Yep. You want that, 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 that. You want some jump my thing? Yep. Of course I want it. Gordon Freecon. The warp pads in Tuya were like, yeah, the warp pads in Banjo Tuya, awesome. They do exactly what you want. They tell you where they are. It's classic. Not just a number that you have to memorize in 15 fucking gigantic levels. Aww. Someone pointed out that, like, Tiny Kong and her sister, one of them has grown up and like become more like a human woman, but slightly anthropomorphized. And the other 
has remained a small gorilla, and that's super weird. One of the many mysteries of the Kong family. I mean, those genetics can't be. That gene pool is... a puddle. Luckily, you don't have to individually collect, collect uh, uh, crystal coconuts per character, so that's a slight blessing. And now we have Mini, the Mini Kong. Whee! That's cute. Oh, it's she's in small on the spotlight. That's cute. We ha we're having f we're having fun. Having a normal time. Where are you taking me? What are you... What are you actually doing? <laughs> ah. Oh. Oh, it's only you. T oh, what? What's that supposed to mean? Bottom of slide. And! Kill it. Even in the fucking minigame races, you're collecting more shit! I- oh fuck. Look at- what- what- what's the bizarre void are we- You can take my- oh, I'll kill you! Fuck! You just- you can just fucking erase the- you can just end it by falling off and he can take your coins if he touches you and it's a race? You little piss. Get out of the fucking- ah! And then you fall forever in the infinite abyss of darkness. That's me. Right now, I'm falling in that abyss forever. Because I'll never finish this minigame. Oh my god. It literally says bad luck. Okay. This controls so badly. I want- I want it clear on the record. This game is built incredibly poorly. And everyone who worked on it should be ashamed of themselves. Ah! Ah! No! What?! That's not even... Oh... Ah! <laughs> you can't... You have to... You have to hit... You have to slow down so much to have any ability to turn! Also, I love that it tells you you're in last place when you're behind one character. <laughs> Oh, right. Let's do it. This time. Oh. Just clip through it. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Retired. You're gone. Early retirement. All bones broken. Like, it's not even a hard... It's just the several things have to be done at once, and it controls terribly. And the only way to be in pole position is to be constantly being hit by him, which loses your, your stuff. So you either get in front of him by blasting, which causes you to go too fast so you might bounce off the geometry in a fucking weird way and fly off at a random angle or clip through something and die. You have to either be... You either go the the, uh, the fast way to get in front of him, or you go the coin way and possibly get hit by him. And sometimes you can't see where the coins are because they, they pop in too close to do anything about it. So you also have to memorize where all the fucking coins are. By the way, I've watched people speedrun this, and they're experts at it, and I have no fucking clue how they control the game this well. The virtual console controller must be, like, forged from the brains of geniuses.
No, 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 oh, mother of shit! Oh, fuck, there was a bunch of coins right at the end. What? It's just a run at the end? God is dead! And no one cares! Ah, uh, two hours and 20 minutes in. And this is like the sixth banana. Bad luck. Get out of my fucking way, you piece of shit. Why am I going in that direction? Why does that happen when you hit a wall? Humans built this on purpose to torture other humans, and they charged them money for it. No, 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 no. There's not enough time. You can't get ahead and not fall off and get all the coins. You can only choose two. You have, t you have $20 to build the perfect race. I, I bet there's some kind of emulation error here where it's like, oh, uh, the, the beetle goes five times faster than he should. F or something. Like, we never fixed that bug in the emulation, so I guess it's impossible now. Okay, so... Deliberately stay behind him and get all the coins. And then, you know, beat the turns easy with these. And then when the thing, the track diverges, blast in front of him. Just go. There. Okay. Then... Get all the coins. Okay, get some of the coins. Don't uh, get fucking flipped around magically by the fucking bizarre architecture of this nightmare of this nightmare cave. Collect the actual fucking coins by moving into them. Okay. We may be onto them. Something here. It was 50 coins, wasn't it? It was like f it was literally like 50 fucking coins. There are later levels where you have to get far less, and you can get 50 of them in that game, and it's easy as piss. And like, this one is like, fucking in obscene! It's like being stabbed in the heart. FUCKING HELL! That, that That's like an entire slide that's like really tight, and impossible to maneuver down, so you're just going, and you're bouncing off all the walls. And then they just- oh, now there's a wall that's not there, bye! I bet that's the bug. The bug is some of the walls are missing. It was never designed to work this way. I can jump, but jumping seems useless. There isn't like, a, there's no point in it where it's like, oh cool, I can jump now. So I'm gonna stay behind him a little longer to try and get some coins, and then I'm just gonna, because the sooner I get 50, the sooner I can put my mind at ease. And... Because I just have to be in front of him, basically. I just have to win. Oh, and he diverges the other way there. So you can go faster than him and get the coins. Okay, okay, okay. The beginnings of a strategy are forming. Fuck you, going the other way. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Luckily... Luckily, Tony Kong is fucking fast. I love you. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah. <laughs> Here it comes. Here's the, here's the bit. Oh no, he's coming up. He's, he's gaining on me. He's gaining on me, and the thing is. Oh no, no. Oh. No, 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 no. Ah, no, no, no. Ah! Oh, the, you little fucker! You little fucker! Oh damn it! The thing didn't. It didn't do the. Yeah, you can't beat him in the. You can't beat him in a foot race at the very end. You have to be way ahead of him to beat him in that race at the end, because he's got more fucking legs than you! <sighs> what a shame! Uh, 
Uh, some people in the chat appear to be waking up to the reality of what the stream is going to be. This is why this this is why the game lasts five million years. Because some bananas are easy to get, but then some bananas take uh, hours because you have to do all of this bullshit. Oh fuck! Oh. Okay, now here's the here's the. This is it. This is the flashpoint. Ah! Okay, now I just have to gain a lot of speed. And I mean a lot of speed. Gotta get all the coins. Yeah, okay. There's a bunch of coins at the end. I've just gotta not fall off. And that means not turning too much because you lose control if you go too high up the slide. You obsequious pile of shit! It just, it just suddenly turns a different, like, just fuck! They built it on purpose to just fucking murder you at the end! Ah! Oh, I'm being, t I'm being tilted by a fucking beetle. Okay, so, I feel like I have the strategy down though. The trick is to relax, to know what to- don't let, don't let him play you, he can read your thoughts. He preys on fear. You just have to know when to get ahead, when to let up, when to kill. Oh. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, I've waited too long. I slept too long. But now I have a way more coins than I normally have at this point, so I just have to go fast and collect all the coins at the end. And not fucking immediately die when that... Okay, because that that's how they fuck you, is this is a really long slide with no wall. And it comes up, and then it lets go, and it lets off, and then there's quite a long drop before the next turn. But then on the next slide, you slide, and it the edge immediately comes. Like, they just... They deliberately stab you. Oh, you little fucker. Well, you raised six thousand dollars for mermaids before I died. If I die, I need to designate a next of kin who can donate the money for me, on my behalf. <laughs> Quickly rename my PayPal to HBG Memorial Fund. You've got to be way ahead of him. The game lies. It's not just a race down the slide with the completely new mechanics they just fucking threw down your throat. It's... It's also... Fuck! It's also a, a separate, at the end, foot race where the game just... just wins. It's astounding! The speedrun of this game is um, really good, actually. They do some really cool tricks in this, and they control it incredibly well. Like, no joke, the speedrun, the 100% speedruns, the five-hour speedruns of this game are things of absolute beauty. And what the fuck? And they do nothing as cool as that, but they also win. So, yeah. Hit the bug on foot. What? Wait, you can hit the bug? I, I tried to hit him. You can hit the bug at the end of the race? Oh fuck, this changes everything. I'm gonna kill that fucker. You can just kill him. Doesn't matter, you can just retire him from the race. 
That was the only way I ever won some of the races in F Zero in the in the story mode was I just fucking murdered the races at the beginning before they could get any speed, and then just casually drove because otherwise I would crash and die trying to keep up. Yeet. The music is still catchy though. Grant Kirkhope did a fantastic job uh, of making this game bearable. And here comes the here comes the fucker, where they're like, "Oh, there's the witch here! <laughs> Fuck you!" Oh, I don't have enough fucking coins. I'm gonna fucking kill you, you piece of shit! I hate you so much. I need a minute. Where's my coffee mug? Oh. For those of you keeping score, this is uh, coffee number three. Um, I have three energy drinks also in the uh, in the kitchen. Um, I might break open the sparkling water for a little pick me up because <laughs> I'm fucking losing it. It's just like it's not just the loss of this; it's the weight of how many more there are. It's just fuck. I might, even, I might actually open some food as well. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe four, four and a half hours in, I might start having guests on. Uh, I just, I just, I just want to get this done. I need, to, I need, I can't just be stuck on this. Right. So can you hit him early on? No, it's at the end. At the end you can hit him. Okay, so early on, get all the fucking coins. Because holy shit, it actually matters. It comes down to the wire. Fuck! 
And then on the second, on the second bisection, the second two track, blast him. Blast him up. Fuck you. Missed all, of, managed to miss all the coins. A no coin run. A minimum percentage run. Fuck, 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 I forgot about that bit. <laughs> Aw, bad luck. Okay, I can't find the donate button. The donate button is, uh, scroll down. Uh, I think it's a picture of a skull. I think I made it, like, really hard to tell where the donate button is. I'd love to be a special guest if you'd have me, says Gertrude Perkins. I, at some point, I'm gonna need guests, uh, because the people I have lined up can't... They have to sleep, and they have jobs and lives. Uh, oh, I cancelled those a long time ago in preparation for this. Um, so, uh, I will probably eventually need to call you up. Uh, but maybe, you know... Go to bed and wake up, and then do it then, you know. Um... I've gotta... I've gotta... Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is for all the marbles. This is for an amount of marbles. Oh, fuck, he's still there. Oh, he's gonna rob me of all my coins. Go, 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 go. Yeah. So this is the part where you have to kind of get speed and the co and the coins. You gotta kind of get them both, and then you need just enough. And then here's the murder. Ah! That last coin there by the edge taunts you. It's there. It's like you can come get me, but it'll murder. It'll kill you. Oh, okay, we're, we're, get, we're getting there. I'm confident in my ability now. Knowing especially that you can hit him at the end um, makes it a lot easier, because I no longer have to win by the massive margin I was trying to, which was causing me to make more mistakes. I now know... You get a better idea of how cool you can play it. Because um, early on, I was like, I've got to win the race. And I was, like, blasting through him, like, get, taking all of his hits, when, like, it's needless. This is like the ka Kaiji playing E-card, only instead of losing an ear, it's my sanity. Which, by the way, good anime. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. I lost track of the turns. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, thank you. Give me all them coins. There's like five at the end, or like three. I've, I've lost track, but there's an, an amount that is good. There's a good amount of coins at the end. But I do need these ones. Oh! It'll turn out that each one of these coins I should have got, and I'll be so pissed. I can do it. Okay, now it's just a case of not dying. Oh. Fuck you! You're a dead man! Oh, that- Oh, it's so much more satisfying than it should be! Yeah! Oh. How many attempts was that? Donkey Kong. Maybe you heard of him! <laughs> oh. oh, I feel so alive! Let's save. Okay. okay. You swore you'd kill him at start and you did. He's dead. I killed him. Right. I've, I've lost all track of anything else in this game. My entire understanding of the geometry of this world has been obliterated and replaced only with with the, with, with the theory of how to go down a slide, and you'll never see that slide again, that was it. There's not another, I don't even think there is another sliding game, I think it's a, I think next time it's like a race car game, like that's just like inexplicably really hard, and then it's not like that for the rest of it. It's so weird. They don't like make one kind of mini game and really refine it, and then you have one every level for each character or something. They make a million absolute shit piles, and you've gotta, and you just, you just gotta, you just gotta stand them. But you can't win a winner transfer. <laughs> the name of that, the name of that beetle, by the way, 
Graham. <laughs> oh, we've got 26 is him, and what's he got? Okay, we might even have enough for the boss. Which will clear the board for us to uh, get all the characters, which is what we want. We want to have all the all the all the people because then we can unlock all the stuff, which gets us most of the way there. And then it's just a case of beating all five million squillion levels, and that's totally that's totally acceptable. Oh, oh, am I being raided by Destiny? Oh, Thank you, Destiny. Thank you, Desmond Tiny. Oh. Oh, this one's evil. Wow, the music's bugging out. That's how, that's how many effects are on screen at once. Wait, are 8,000 people watching? Really? My thing hasn't hasn't updated yet. For me, it says 4,500. Wow! I'm shocked. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm H. Prom. I, I do uh, video game material and also intensely political stuff that um, gets me in a lot of hot water for no reason. And uh, this is... I'm raising money for a charity that a comedian uh, tried to destroy uh, and failed. He, he failed, but... I love the fire effect in this fight. So, you know, your donations will go to that charity. Uh, the fire effects in this game are awesome. Just the way the fireball looks like it's kind of rolling when it, when he throws it is awesome. But he... Oh, the fire only makes him more powerful because he's fire-based. It hurts him, but it makes him stronger. Look how much fucking easier this is than the first fight in the game. Like... This is nothing compared to the fucking... 8,000... Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. I picked it. I like... That first fucking fight, the first boss fight, it, it cuts it so fine with every single attack. You have to constantly be moving at your most and juking him slightly to not die. And this guy, you can just walk! Oh, fuck. Oh, good. No, okay. I thought for a second he was going to do another attack, but instead he's just yelling at you. That's a cool fight, though. That he yells at you. He's, he's so mean, because he squished his kid. Donkey Kong. Oh, 2,000 people have left, though. I'm not, I'm not cool enough. I'm not... I'm not destiny. I'm not, I'm not a badass like destiny is. I was on destiny stream recently. We talked a bit about Brexit. And then some people messaged me afterwards like, how do you think your debate with destiny went? I was like, that was a debate? It was like, th I was up at 3 a.m. and uh, jo joked about how bad Brexit's going. So, we've now rejected Theresa May's deal, so... What now? Is it no deal? Do we... Is there another deal? Like, what happens? No one... The answer is no one knows. We are all playing this by ear. And we're, we're all fucked! We're basically all fucked. And... You know, I'd ask... I'd ask one of... Uh, one of Britain... One of the UK's great, uh, comedy... Um... People to... Uh, with a funny take, or with some clever, insightful comment, but... They're all too busy whining about a charity, so... We got nothing. My main problem with it is, like, like, mass, you know, if, if, if the majority of people in Britain still, that's the, that's a whole other thing, still want to leave the U European Union, bless their hearts, it's what people want, we should do it. But that doesn't give Theresa May infinite mandate to do whatever she wants and call it, you know, the will of the people. That's absolute piss. That's just objectively evil. That's bad. Um, but what, what do people actually, you know, I feel like there should be, like, we should have the kind of referendum 
that we should that we should have had in the first place, where we figure out what the deals actually conceivably are, what the options are, what's acceptable to the majority of the population, and go, okay, now vote on these options. You know, vote on like, is is Norway plus acceptable? And as a corollary, if we can't get that. Would you prefer no deal? Like that those are like important questions? Instead we were just like leave remain and that means that whoever's in the top seats when the music stops, and by the way, the Prime Minister will probably resign. So who knows who that'll even be has infinite power to do whatever they want and say that you voted for it. Like that's ridiculous. I like everyone there are still people out there who legitimately believe wrongly, but legitimately believe, fully believe that they have um, economic or social arguments for Brexit, and they should have, you know, they should, ha if, if there's still a majority of them, which there isn't, but if there was, they should still have the Brexit that they want, but they're not getting that, are they? They're not gonna get it. No, I, the, like, we're basically reaching the slow way, the... The, con the, you know, the obvious conclusion that most people just assumed, which is that all the acceptable Brexits are um, politically impossible to achieve. Like, that's the truth. It's like, all the ones... So now all the people who still want it because they feel like supporting it will make them look good um, is like, have to be like, no, no, we always knew it meant no deal. We always knew it meant um, giving away all of our money and rights and not having any say in an economic union that will still have a massive power over us. We all knew that's exactly what it meant when we voted for it. Like, just making up retrospective beliefs. We all knew it meant shooting our dicks off um, and firing every third doctor. We, we all knew it's exactly what we voted for. And now the loony left are telling us that we voted for a Brexit that was theoretically good. No. Don't let the don't let the the liberals tell you otherwise. Like, fuck off. No, the people who voted for Brexit voted for it for like a theoretical good Brexit, which it turns out we can't get. So I don't know. Think a little bit harder about it. Oh, we we beat the boss, so we should probably. Oh, it's, there's no powers here, are there? Anyway, th those are my thoughts on Brexit. Um. Oh, he, oh the, he has another thing. I just don't have the coins. I don't have the clams. Transgender pride. Heck yeah. Oh, thanks for sharing the donation link, Alexis. Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's hard for little me to keep track of. I put it in a weird place. It's If you scroll down, there's a button. That is a, That thing, it has a face. That's cool and also a bit scary. I gotta be donkey for that. Is there a conveniently placed barrel? Oh, no, no, there is. There is. It's out. It's... it's there. Nope. It's there. Nope. Yes, that's the one. Okay. I'm still seething from that race. I mean, it's theoretically an interesting segment of the game, but they, they spoil it by being absolute bollocks. Okay. Yeah, baby. We got this. Hashtag we got this. Alright. Let's see what this camel's up to. Oh, that's what that was. That's the th thing we got ages ago. We finally get to use it. And if you miss, you immediately die. Yeah, that, that's fine. Yeah, I, I totally didn't touch that with most of my body and then clip through it. <laughs> I do love how much pain Donkey Kong is clearly in during this segment. Also, as you'll notice, after the initial firing, there is a little bit of drop that you have to account for. You have to account for distance. You have to do trigonometry. DK! 
You don't get a banana for that. No, you have to do something else then afterwards to get the banana. <laughs> See? They don't just put the banana there. They give you this whole fucking thing. But I guess you got to free the guy. They got to advance the story while giving you a banana. Oh. And there's another, and now you can do the thing. Classic. In the words of Jesus Christ, I came to cast fire upon the earth. Ooh, banana. Oh, thanks to the Destiny folks who, who stuck around. Oh, I appreciate it. I know that there are some good ones in there. Um, wait, there are... Oh, no, no. The, wait, there are two characters in this level? I didn't realize. I thought there was one in the next one. Wow. We're gonna get all the characters faster. This game's good. They knew you just wanted all the characters and they give them to you slightly earlier. It's incredible. Why is there lava? Here? What level is this? What's going on? Yeah, 5,000. So, so a couple of Destiny people actually bothered to stick around. Even though... You know. What the, is this guy invincible? This guy can't, this guy's just, Jesus. Thank you, yeah, I appreciate it. Oh, they even put, they even put stuff here for when you want to teleport. That's cool, we finally found the central hub of this level. A million billion hours in. Oh, 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 bang! This better kill him. Dead. Bothered this guy in his sleep as well. Okay. Sure. We did it. Why? Why? I'm offended by this. This is disgusting! Hello. Please let me out. I'll help you defeat K- Yeah, that's what they all say. Goodbye. He may move slow. That's the other guy. You have a funny face. That's all you'll do? Just collect the bananas that only you can eat? It's fucking pointless. All he's done is increase the amount of bananas I need to collect. You fascist. Oh, and the very first thing you do is turn around and are confronted by balloons. You have got to, you've got to fucking come back here right away with the new guy. Oh. I want you to sta Oh, uh, happy 19th of, uh, of January to everyone who's, uh, who lives in, in England. It's just past midnight. Why don't you just stab me in the fucking face while you're at it? Donkey Kong? Give me those bananas. It's a bananas! I already made that joke. I'm running out of jokes. This is it. I've reached my limit. My peak. Oh, there is still a lot to do in this level. No, no! I did not press that button. The character just turned in that direction when he hit the wall while crouched. Yeah, he just... If, he, if he's doing the jump animation and he can't... That particular, like, long jump, and he can't easily touch it, like, and, and it's against a surface, he'll just pick a different direction. It's, in it's incredible. It's honestly incredible. Wow. You know, my conservative estimate for like the most I would make for this entire 24 hours was about $3,000. And this is obscene, and thank you so much. And um, on behalf of mermaids, who have not made me their official spokesperson yet, um, 
but they'll come around. Uh, uh, okay, thank you. I think I speak on behalf of all trans people when I say that. Uh, I'm joking, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna go get those balloons before I forget. Oh, I don't have his gun! You can't even- Oh my god! The depths of this game's disastrousness. By the way, this is Lanky Kong. He he owns. Gender fluid is delicious. I love the term gender fluid. Um, and the many uses. It's a noun. It's a whatever the word is for a drink is. Has ContraPoints already made a gender fluid joke? I'd like to make a joke about locking something in the problem attic, but... Those are my two jokes that I have right now. It, that's, this is why it takes me so long to make any videos. It's like, I need at least four jokes and it takes me a week to write like 0.5 of a joke. Well, I'll come up with a punchline and then I have to work backwards. Uh, oh good, another tiny con. Adventure. This can't possibly go wrong. Oh, here's a mini game where um, the developers of game piss in your mouth, and the controls are terrible too. <laughs> to make matters worse. <laughs> oh, and now other people can come here too. That's actually really clever. Oh, you can't- oh, was, oh, that was pointless, wasn't it? Yeah! Oh, of course it was! Oh, oh yeah! Oh! Of course they don't put- they don't put the kasplat that's relevant to the character you're playing in the thing! I'm gonna save here, because you will probably die instantly if you touch the lava. They don't put the- you know, that's right next to the relevant character that you just used to get there. No, it's a different character! They- they want to fuck you- they will fuck you up! On purpose! Please let me on the platform. They just like vampires that eat time. I would be if there was some kind of like uh, Dorian Gray esque curse on this game, where every moment a human spends on it extends the lifespan of its creators. I wouldn't be surprised. Like genuinely. The least shocking thing about the development of this game would be if it turned out actual magic had been involved in its dis design. There's actual magic in this game, but like the dark kind. I will... I will have my revenge <laughs> against this game's career. I bet there's an item. Oh, they, wow, they actually didn't put an item right there uh, where, where it's hard to see that you wouldn't think to look. Thanks! Thanks, game developers! There are other times, however, like, having watched one of the 100% speedruns, or actually several, um, I've watched one of the, like, 5-hour ones and one of the 24-hour ones, so I kind of know how the- I know kind of how these can go if you're fast. Um, which I am not. No, not even 360 Chris M's worst run has gone this slowly. Um, he's a genius. Um, at least we got a banana out of that. Um, the- um, what was the thing? What was the same? I forgot what I was talking about. Okay. Yeah, um, there are a couple of balloons which are hidden in places where you have to deliberately lose certain things for them to open, or do things in a way that doesn't make sense for them to open. And luckily they've found ways to get them even if you don't make that mistake, so you don't lock yourself out of them forever, where you, like, p put your gun in the wall and fire through it, but, like, it's very possible to just die to just actually lock yourself out of all the bananas and stuff. Stuff that would completely obliterate the entire purpose of this run I'm doing right now. Um, so you want to be careful with that. So I'm going to immediately come back with Lanky, who at the very least has access to the ability to kill that guy. Where's the... Where's the barrel? Is, is there a barrel anywhere? Where's the tank barrel? Oh, it's over there. I love that slide. It's awesome. Oh no. Wah hey, wah hey! Oh, that's why they put a thing over there. Woohoo! 
Oh, it's so joyful. Oh, the barrel's up there. There's a barrel there. I didn't notice. I'm sure we'll get to it. There is no escape. Oh no! No, there's great kind of points. Is awesome. Yeah. And that's been meaning to make the video that she just made for ages, and I'm glad that she did. Like, I think sometimes an idea gets, it gnaws away at you for so long that you kind of have to explore it, no matter what happens. Like, there's been a couple of videos, um, especially early animated ones, that were, like, very weird and out there in terms of, like, talking about, um, like, the one I did about, kind of, this is an incredible slow walking animation. Oh my goodness. This character fucking kicks ass. Look at that. People say the N64 is bad. How could, how could it possibly be bad? How is that even possible? Have you have you seen have you seen Lanky Kong? But yeah, like sometimes an idea gnaws at you for so long, you kind of have to do it, or you'll never be free of it. And I know that that means sometimes, like uh, in the world of t discussing difficult and important concepts, it means saying something that, like, you know is contentious, or that you know is, like, you know rides a line that some people are going to be uncomfortable no matter what, but you kind of have to get it out of you, to, or you'll never be free. It's like, I think that that's a thing, and, uh, you know, in a way, even if, even if you don't like the video, I'm glad that she's got it out of her system. Like, now, now that she can move... To, the brain space can be used for other things, if that makes sense. Um, I just realized what I was doing. Yeah, so, like... Yeah, I'm glad. Um, and a lot of my early stuff is very, like... This is the bit where I destroy all the goodwill... What little goodwill I've gained, all, all 30,000 of my subs. But... I, Let's do it. This is this is this is it. This is the con this is how I feel about it. I, I you know I have to confront this, and then people were like pretty supportive. So it seems like it always works out if the idea actually works. You just don't really know until you try. Anyway, yeah, we did that. Is there anything anyone else needs to do in here, or is it just? Did they just put this here to make you come back once with another character, just to just to stab you in the heart a little bit deeper? I think they did. I think they genuinely did that. Just to... Hmm. Just to get you. What? You think you can get me? You think you, you, think you can t fucking take me? Oh, I don't have any instruments yet. I don't have a gun. Never forget Ray hates you. <laughs> Discourse time. Yeah, um... Plus the CAD video, I guess, is that. I've had that, I had that idea for years, you know. I watched uh, The Power of Art with Simon Sharma. Um, specifically the episode he did about Rothko. Uh, there's even a line that I ripped off, well, ripped off in a reference, I guess. Because um, I did use it in a completely different context, where, you know, when asked the correct distance to stand when viewing his painting. Um, except I used it in a completely different context and turned it into a joke. Um, we're like, it's a good show. It sells you on, like, why art is good. And all kinds of art that you probably didn't even understand the value of before you can see it. And I think that's an incredible thing to do in a show. Um, but I was like, I want to do that, but about, you know, a webcomic that's bad. And it worked. And, like, it stuck with me for so long and I had no choice but to make it. And it's, like, the, one of my best videos. Also, one of the reasons why it's one of my best is because um, I had people helping me with it. A lot of people conferred with me on the script. Um, Dan... Uh, Olsen, Eric Taxon, um, Sean, uh, Crystal, I think, read a draft of it. Uh, Shannon co-edited it. Like, so when I say one of my best, it's like, well, not really. That's one thing uh, that not annoys me, but is like a kind of cool thing to notice is that um, there was like, Polygon did like a list of best video essays or video game video essays or whatever of the year. And, um, Th that cat video is on there, but also one of, um, I think Shannon's parasocial thing is on there. So technically Shannon's on the list twice because half of my video is her, is like her, if not advice on how to construct it and general ideas, um, editing straight up, like, 
good stuff. Check out Shannon Strucci, Strucci Movies on YouTube. Um, she made the So You Wanna Be a Film Nerd series, which is pretty cool, and she's also made a bunch of other stuff since that's very different. She kind of took a different direction, and I think it works. Oh, and um, May, uh, Nick Spheres, uh, I think, l read the script and also, you know, by, be by mer merit of being my friend, listened to constant badgering about the idea I had for this thing for a year and a half. Ugh. One thing that I've, I've definitely enjoyed, like, I'm not the biggest fan of communities. I'm not the biggest fan of, like... I, I, it somewhat annoys me that there is, like, a left tube, almost, because I don't like forming cliques. I don't... I, I, I've, the, the idea of one, that one of those is forming immediately makes me worried. Like, it, it just causes me to shy away from it a little. Um, just because the whole thing is a little bit parasocial. Um... This was before I knew what parasocial meant. I still had this weird feeling about it. But one thing I do appreciate is that there are now people who do what I do, who who have thoughts that are often like more developed or along certain lines than mine that I can talk to about an idea and get an answer. Whereas f two, three years ago, I, I would talk and I would have no one to talk to about an idea. You know, no one I knew would be like, oh yeah, let's talk about let's talk about ideology and how it's affected by uh, by the internet or let's talk about perception of webcomics or whatever. Like, now there are people out there whose job is to think about it, and I think that's kind of cool. Um, I think I prefer to have acquaintances than, than friends um, when it's in something vague like an internet uh, group. Like, when, it, when they're pe I want to have friends be people who I can, you know, be do friend stuff with, like hang out. Um, so there are people who I'll see maybe twice a year if that who I, I fight not to think of as friends, not because I don't like them or because they're not wonderful people, like um, uh, Jenny Nicholson and some other people are like wonderful people, but, oh, I hate this game so much, but I, I don't see them enough that it feels like it would be weird to call them friends. Like, that's just not how it works. It just, I don't know. Words and concepts are all strange and I don't like it. It's funny how that works, really. Just the power we give to specific words, and then our relationship with those words. Like the big, the big one I would use is depression. You know, I, my thing, and I think a thing almost all British people think is, you know, I get sad sometimes, or perhaps almost all the time, but I'm not depressed. That's like a big word with a capital D. And then, but that's that's the opposite. That's part of how it how it how it tricks you. That's the brain worm. Um, why are you telling me this now? Was I supposed to pick him here? Let's get let's get an instrument. It's music time, baby. Will S and J be joining us at any point? Um, J might be in bed, but S definitely will. He has no choice. I'll make him. Oh, the price is too high. Ah. something like this is something that this is something like I'm gonna give an example of um that's weirdly personal but you know like Ollie philosophy tube like speaking of this like social stuff like I've only physically met Ollie once and spent like you know hung out with him for a couple of hours over a few days and he's capable of like immediately switching into like we are friends and we can talk as friends about important stuff mode but it takes me a really long time to be able to do that with someone normally and I guess just different people operate in different ways, but I guess I have the, this weird inbuilt antisocial thing where I, I need to like, I need to feel like I'm qualified to, to be friendly to someone, like I've spent enough time. Like that's a, a bizarre notion, but 
I've never really even noticed to stop to interrogate it because for so long that's just how my world oper has operated. And then you all of a sudden see someone who hasn't questioned it and you go, no, it doesn't have to be that way at all. And that's, that's kind of cool, I don't know. I had this weirdly character building experience from Ollie just being friendly for no reason. He, had no, he didn't need to be friendly to me for any reason. I hadn't earned his friendship. And it was just nice. I said, like, wow. Ollie is basically... I don't know, like... I don't, I don't know if Jesus was real. But... Knowing Ollie is real makes me think, you know... Someone like Jesus could have existed. I think Ollie helped me reaffirm my faith in Christ. Um, or at least the fact that he could have existed. <laughs> It's a lot like Jesus. <laughs> Only three hours in and I'm already getting just... I'm already completely losing my mind and talking just weird personal stories that have no basis in anything that's going on. So what do I do now? Do I go to previous areas to collect coins? Let's just, just do it. Let's have a look around. Oh my god. Ollie is much sexier than Jesus. That's... I don't know. We don't know what... The jury is out on what Jesus looked like, you know. Some people will tell you that he was... He, he, he would look Palestinian. Others would have told you that he looked exactly like... Um, like them. Who knows? You've still got to unlock Chonky Kong. Yeah. He's in the next level. I think he's in the factory? I feel like there's another level. I don't even know where Lanky's bananas are in this level, because... I haven't been in this level whilst having him unlocked in decades. Oh my god. I hate this game, but... Well, at least we know there's Tiny Kong Bananas here. We're gonna have to do this with every character, so... I haven't even opened this door. Oh, look at all the amazing things we have to unlock. I love that they give you teleporters through each level, but then they stab you. They say... But no, you still have to fucking walk through every level with every character to get all the fucking bananas. Oh, you think you were getting off easy? Wrong one. That's the wrong boy. There we go. Lanky Kong is Jesus. Have you seen the 2018 DK rap? I have not. And I choose not to. Actually, that's not true. I haven't. I just haven't seen it. I forgot that it's not 2018 anymore. Oh, wow. Yeah, nice. Let's do this. The creators of GoldenEye, ladies and gentlemen. Gammon Linehan. Gammon Linehan. Ha ha ha. That's a meat. Oh good, at least, at fucking least that's Diddy Kong's banana. They could have really screwed you there. They can just not tell you whose banana it is and just fuck you for hours of hours of fun backtracking to figure out whose fucking banana it is. Got a medal, baby. I think you need like 80 of those to uh, to get access to the last thing to like play one of the arcade games or something. Oh, and doing all of that unlocks a cave with yet more bullshit that I can't access. Inaccessible bullshit. The H Bomber Guy story. Fuck you for hours of fun. I just. <laughs> it's only been three hours and already. I'm gone. My mind is going. I can feel it, Davis. But, oh my god. The next goal is going to be $15,000. And I'm going to yell $15,000 really loudly. It's funny though, because I've definitely woken up the neighbors screaming in the middle of the night on streams, but they can't complain because uh, they uh, breed dogs for a living, and the dogs wake everyone up all the time. If they call, if they complain about the noise to anyone, um, the response will be, "Ha ha ha ha! Fuck you, you fucker! See you in hell." Uh, actual quote. I can still see the spinning skull out of the corner. So we're just doing it's 6969. That is double nice. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. 
I do realise that, like, are people being inordinately generous? But really, they, they're just being supportive because they know how much l more there is to go. They're just getting their donuts in now so they don't have to be here for all the time. Yeah, like, that's the rule. If you're watching the stream, you have to sit through all of it with me until you donate, and then you can leave. It's a new rule. Stop it. <sighs> that might hopefully be enough coin. I think you need three for the gun. I just need his gun. For some reason, they didn't put they didn't put all the shops in every level, so you have to go back to a previous level or wait until a new one in order to unlock the ability to even unlock more things for your character. It's wonderful. It's hours of fun. Oh, I went the wrong one. And now I have no choice but to watch this animation play out. <laughs> oh, I was trying to save on going in here too often, because you've got to watch this every time. Uh, uh, why am I so tired already? Well, it's because I didn't get properly sleep. Oh well. Ah. Still broken. I had to enjoy a grand tour ad before this. Wow! Well, in that case, you have no choice but to... but to watch all of it. I do appreciate that they, at the very least, show you where all of the... like, all the buttons and pads and stuff that you... for stuff that you haven't unlocked yet. They keep those in, so you at least know where those will be. His coin is going very quickly. Let's deal with that. So you know, you kind of get a general idea of places you can go back to. Unlike the bananas where you just have no fucking clue forever. I know, I know, you told me this. You've told me this like three times already. Ugh. Don't clip that. Gotta keep hydrated, hun. gotta say, at least for most characters, like, they don't- they don't make you unlock the ability to do a ground pound more than once, which is, like, incredible- an inc act of incredible kindness, because they knew they could have made you, but they didn't. I'm getting Stockholm Syndrome now. My god, they- Oh. I, I didn't- even, I forgot you could even do that as him. I don't think they even tell you. Like, they're like, oh, by the way, he can do the talent trot. He can do the thing from Banjo Kazooie, and it's really convenient, and it fucking saves the day. Oh, but to even get in there, I need Diddy to have shot the thing, so I need to have remembered that. I should really come back here when I've got Chunky, when I've got Chambo, so he can. So then we'll have all of them, and the journey can really begin. Boop, boop. Thank you, Zombo the Zavi. I'm gonna have to read everyone's names out later. Is that a monkey? That's a bird. That's a bird. Oh, it does. There's some bananas down here. Yay! Coins. So, I should probably figure out exactly what my stipulations are for this run, because it's not 101% exactly, it's everything. And everything isn't 101%, because the 101% only counts banana medals, it doesn't actually count all the bananas. Um, so my goal is to get every banana, at least, which is more, which is like expanded 100%, because you don't need to get all of them. Speedrunners will just miss bananas that they don't need um, on purpose, just to make a point of not needing all of them. Um, 
And I'm gonna try and get as many, like, I'm gonna get the secret coins. But I don't, there isn't a reliable, because of all the extra shit there is in this game, list of all the coins and all the locations that's convenient. Um, so, I'm gonna go for all the bananas and the secret coin, at least, and I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how I'm feeling in 40 hours uh, about, you know, all of the coins or whatever, but those are effectively, you know, an optional pick em up that you don't even... Oh no, look, I'm making excuses for myself. I should have just not brought it up, but now it's obvious. But like, yeah, there are, there are, you know, my goal is to get all of everything that is actually counted in the game as a thing that you can get. That, like, they count out of a total. Like, battle crowns, boss keys, banana medals, blueprints, gold bananas, and bananas. Where's the actual all to- where's the big total screen? Do they not have a screen for totals? Ridiculous. No, I, I want to fill it up in a way where I can open a menu and it says you've got it all. And on top of that, get the secret coin. That's all I really want. Um, getting all the coins as well is just like- there isn't even a list of those anywhere. We'll ne it, it would literally not end. So, yeah, that's my thinking. Anyway, have we unlocked- we've definitely unlocked a new area now, sure. Oh, I'll, I'll probably have to buy mm, these, this guy's moves. Which, there's a- there's a station right there, isn't there? That's probably doable. Please save. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Save Chris. Two and one bananas total, yeah. There's two and one bananas. Um, which means all the fairies, because you need them to get the last coin, which means... Oh no, the banana hoard is... It's empty. It means a lot of things. But that's that's my plan right now. Um, so it's basically under 1%. But I'm not going out of my way to miss bananas to be to be a show off. 15! Oh, oh, oh yeah. Um he, that's his thing, isn't it? He's, he wants that many banana medals for the next to unlock the um the big thing, the Flippin' uh, jetpack thing, cutscene game, which I cheated uh, to get as a child. Like I, I easily found a way to beat that in five seconds to get the maximum score. I just cheated the old game, but um, having to actually do it sounds tough. Actually, no, you don't even need that bigger score in it. You just, you j literally just need to. You literally just need to. Um, b build the complete thing. Yeah, that's fine. The Mario one completely destroyed me, though. I couldn't do that one as a kid. I had to. I like literally was visiting my dad and found my old N64 and DK64 and thought it's been five years. I bet I can beat the Donkey Kong 60, the Donkey Kong arcade segment, and came back and could finally have finally could do it. Um, uh. Oh, fuck you, Graham. 18! 18. 18 bananas! Okay, so that is... At the rate we're getting them, that's about 30... 38 hours? Rough, rough, rough guesstimate? Ah, I'm... S yeah, we're gonna make it! It's gonna be great. So... I'm trying to put off having guests as long as possible, just to, you know, keep my focus, but... I don't know what, what there is now. I think, I assume there's more parts of DK Isles to explore, and then we go from there, right? It's over here, for some reason? That's not anywhere where we want to go. Oh, 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 I've got another key! I can give, I can give the key to... who's it? Hello, monkey I've never met before. Have you- do you have a key for me? Your eyes were full of madness when you said that. Which one, whatever happens, do not die. 45 hours, because you'll get slow as you get tired. Oh yeah, I forgot- I forgot the compound interest of time! <laughs> Fuck! No, my friends will keep my spirits up. I'll actually get faster. And I- you know, I'm still learning the game, so there's experience. You know, there's- there's... Crossing all the graphs, you know, we can do this in a... Conservative estimate, 40 hours. 
Oh. I need to piss again. I drink a lot of- I've got to keep hydrated. And I drink a lot- I consume a lot of diuretics as well, so... There's that. Oh. Oh. Ooh. I don't know what you want anymore. Oh. Remember Mitchell and Webb? Remember when they hadn't milkshake ducked themselves? Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Some leftover apple pie in the fridge, which I saved for when I finish this. The piss gang is here. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. 88,030. Fuck. Right, 8,800, sorry. It's, it's... We're way up there. I'd never expected that. That's really cool. Wow. Oh, 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 do we do we get the camera from the from the lady? We should go that we should go there now. Piss gang. God. We're way up there. Feels good. We're approaching the number where you can stop donating and then, you know, I have to perform. I have to give you your money's worth. Her name is Tiny. What an awful name to give to someone. Didn't it have I guess she was tiny when she was a baby. If you think about it. <laughs> That's a real, like, stoner logic kind of thing, like, oh, if you think about it. I remember rolling everywhere as Link, not knowing if it may actually made you faster or not. Aw, oh, damn it. I didn't buy the gun for the- th ah, I forgot to buy the gun! I'm gonna have to come back here again! Well, in any case. Oh no! I'm so sorry. My banana fairies. <laughs> Is that what they're calling them nowadays? <laughs> Calm down, Mrs. Fairy. Oh. I remember there was a door I couldn't open because I couldn't get both coins, but I managed to save the, all the fairies because I took a picture through the door, because the game let you do that. It's by trapping them inside special banana skin photographs. That's horrific. Take my magical camera. I wish you could immediately trap her in a photograph. <laughs> like, no! <laughs> As a sign of our friendship, I'll now teach you and your friends a secret ability. Press and hold B to pa- Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can spend crystals to do a really cool shockwave attack. That's great. 
Oh, and it's also what you get. Uh, it's also how you get the banana coin. Yay! Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyway, oh, wrong, wrong one. Sorry. Goodbye. Oh, even the photography function works. Wow. What an amazing emulator. Now please work better at being... Make, please make the game better. Please emulate it differently in a way that makes it good. That's my new request that I have for you. I bet there's a, an important secret item hidden in here. You can only get one way. Mm. Alright. We did it, and we only have to come back here five times. Now, what was I doing before? What was the, the thing I was trying to do? Oh yeah. Donkey Kong. This way. Because there was a mound at the banana hood. For some reason I picked Donkey Kong. There's also a bunch of loose bananas floating around that I that I won that are just left there that I'm so I have to go pick up as that character later. I'll deal with that. I'll cross that bridge as I come to it. I think the banana hood is in the water somewhere? I've probably already tried that. Bananas rot, so I'm not really certain what the the point of having such a massive horde is. Yeah, boy! Hey, donkey! That's a special coin you've picked up. That's right, baby! Um. Hey, also back. Um. Oh. A streamer wins cornflakes. Oh, I don't have any cornflakes. Actually, no, I think I do. Ah, I'm a special K man. Um. Oh. Let's have a jungle jape. Tiny needs a gun. I'm so sorry. Oh. So convenient. You just need to... Do a bunch of shit, slide down a bunch of hills. If you find those secret banana coins, you're you're sorted coin wise. Oh. My nose gets itchy when I'm nervous. About time. Yep, yep, yep. It was the full fucking time you told me this. And Capcom, please save after this cutscene. Okay. 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 okay.
She has the coolest gun, I think. I'm trying to do things as I remember them so I don't forget ages later. I, I'm already beginning to forget that Lanky Kong has a thing he needs to shoot. But I have to come back there later, so I'll try and remember then. I'm sure I'll glance at the chat and someone will think to remind me. Has anyone commented on how damn smooth the webcam is? It's like video equipment of silk, it's so goddamn smooth. Well, that's because it's a... Uh, it's technically not a webcam. It is a... Um, it's a camera that I actually use to shoot my videos with. It's the Blackmagic Micro Cinema camera. Um, and it's just connected, the HDMI thing's just plugged in. And you can use it as a webcam easily because you don't have to plug a battery into it. You can just... Uh, which one is this? This is the shit one, isn't it? Yeah. You can just uh, plug in... There's like a serial port which lets you control and power it. And I just plugged that in, so... Yeah. Is there a teleporter that's easily there? Makes it all like... Surely they made this really accessible. They didn't just... No. We'll get it. We'll get it eventually. I'm sure I tried that one. Oh. Oh. In Banjo-Tooie they add labels and it's so convenient! Banjo-Tooie is a vastly superior game to this one. Oh. What was that? Oh, banana. The fuck was that? So yeah, the uh It's it's a it's yeah. It's an actual camera, it's not a webcam. That's probably one reason why it's smooth. I know a lot of um that's a trick a lot of uh streamers use is they actually use an HDMI cable into a into a well, camera of some kind. I think a lot of people use camcorders, but I don't own a camcorder. So. Oh. Oh. Hmm. No. Where for? Oh yeah. Over here. What's going on over there? Let's check out the water first, just to see. Oh my god, he's gone! Graham Linehan has been deleted from time. He's been defeated forever. He's gone now. Can you believe it? Woo! It's- it is done! He's gone. I did the Thanos thing, but I slapped my hands together instead. But well, we can now ask the final, the all-important question that, that everyone has always wanted to ask. Who is Graham Linehan? I've never heard of him. I don't think he actually exists. <laughs> so mean. He deserves it. <laughs> Imagine taking time out of your day to tell a bunch of people to harass a, like, a charity by sending mass emails to a lady who works for the National Lottery. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's your prerogative? Not to, like, raise awareness of a homeless charity or of homelessness in general, not to do any of that shit, just... It's awful, you know? He used to have a sense of priority, like, the amount of campaign work he did that was really useful for for the, the abortion stuff in Ireland is, like, still, like, I, I consider a really good thing, and, but he just, but it appears that he's like, well, that's good, that gives me license to do whatever I want with my time now, I'm gonna use it to try and ruin some children's lives, like, what? Like an actual Oliver Twist villain? Like, 
What's the... Well, he's gone now. So luckily none of that actually happened. The timeline has shifted. And now I'm doing this live stream. Um... For a different reason entirely. I don't know. I don't know even what that reason is yet. I'll make it up. <laughs> What's this? Is this an entrance? Please work. Okay, good. Oh. Oh, is this just a Snide HQ? It's weird. What is the purpose of this? I guess I can change characters to someone who can jump further. But she's fine. She controls the best. It's good. Mom. I love video games. There's a brief moment after they do any major attacks where... Oh, I can't stop that. Is there a cancel that button? Nope. There was a, a brief moment whenever you stop uh, doing anything where even if you have momentum, they will do an attack instead of another roll. So even if the roll does make you move faster, you have to get the window perfect for it to work. I'm reminded of the original Neo, which has a thing like that, where if you time it perfectly, you can do a dodge roll, you can dodge roll really effectively and like go faster than walking. But you have to time it really well. What is this? Woohoo! Oh, this is the one with the DK Arcade! I can lose my shit about this even faster than I thought I would. Even even earlier. I'm only 15 bananas for this boy. For this lad. Oh, he's invincible. Oh, he take, okay, he takes two hits. He's invincible! <laughs> Show me the bananas! Show me the monkey! Oh yeah, save state, just in case emulator saves don't work. Good point. My big fear with that, though, is if I do that, what if I accidentally load a state? I will fucking actually, actually die. Morpheus thing? That's incredible! Oh, the 90s were a time! Actually, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. When did The Matrix come out? 1999? Wait. The Matrix came out... Too... In terms of game development time, The Matrix came out too early for that to be a reference to The Matrix. D did they... Did they know the Matrix was coming out? Did they, did they know? Did they know all of this was going to happen? Does, does Donkey Kong 64 uh, predict Trump's election? What the fuck was that? Just gonna quickly queue up Inception Horn 10 hours. Oh, at, um, at Christmas dinner every year my cousins throw this like... Oh, we've got a bunch of games and we're in two teams and the winning team gets nothing, it's pointless, but we're in teams and we play these games. And the thing they did was like they played bits of film soundtracks and you had to guess what the film was. And one of them was just the Inception horn noise and only I knew it because I've actually listened to, you know, hours of it on a loop while, while revising and stuff during uh, uni. Something I've discovered is, because I present and joke about having not read any books. A lot of my friends see me as not very literate, 
they think I'm like, you know, if you if you tell a joke often enough about you, like your persona, it, it becomes real. It's something I've re I've discovered. So occasionally, uh, but people are like, so I know you don't really read books, so this isn't really a thing for you. But I was reading, and I have to stop and be like, no, I have a degree in English literature. I've read I've read Chaucer, I've read all the stuff. I I love poetry, you know. I have to like I have to break character to be like, no, I, I love this shit. Please. Um, And they're like, oh, you don't you don't present as someone who's who has a degree in literature. It's like, well, yeah, good. Have you seen people who do? Have you met them? No, no, thank you. Like, um, Kyle Corgan, um, creator of Browse Held High, a fun show you should watch. Um, has to work very very hard to make his like um, to to use like to make jokes about pretentiousness in order to offset the inevitable. Ultra pretentious shitheads who are too, are too worried about looking pretentious than to listen to an interesting point. Oh, yeah. Ah, excellent. Perfect. That is exactly what was meant to happen. Oh, almost uh, completely shit myself then. I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna make a save state. Okay. File. Save as. Desktop. The underscore save. Are you on my desktop? There you are. Okay. We've definitely got it. That glitch, by the way, was the timeline shifting, and uh, Graham Linehan is now no longer real. He's gone. We beat him. And... Oh, someone has drawn fan art of Glinna's elimination by the Kongs. <laughs> That's incredible. Add. Display capture. Incredible! Ah, uh, it's not displaying all of it, hold on. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you. Alright. Where were we? Splat. Okay, he's still up there, but it fucks with his... Oh, this time he went somewhere else. Oh, wow. It blasted him so f completely out of the level that it did the thing it does when you go out of bounds and it respawns you out of the thing, as if you died. Incredible! We found the first... So, um, yeah, emulating uh, Donkey Kong 64 is incredibly difficult. To get that pole in the game, they had to delete uh, some of the most important bits of system memory, so touching it causes um, total er data erasure. I guess the camera and the fact it's locked to a position and it's in a wall to try and see you, it like gets shoved into a wall, trying to interpolate all the things that are happening at once in this, like, hacked-together camera code that was not intended to ever work on an N64 for real, but somehow does. Um, just causes... Trying to emulate it is like, what the fuck? what? It's, it's incredible. It's an excellent game. Like, in a way, the fact that, like, getting this to work on an, an actual working N64 was a piece of actual, genuine, incredible genius craftsmanship. But I refuse to appreciate it, because it was this game. And now because it's really hard to emulate, so it's very hard to copy your copy your work and preserve it for future generations to hate. Not enjoy, to hate, to experience the hatred. I think this is my favourite level, apart from the boss fight. But this is the best music. Best stuff. Um, because, like, you can't... You can't, like... Um, preserve this, like... I'm absolutely amazed that it actually got a oh fuck that actually got a release on the virtual console because this is like it's 
it's it's owned by so many different people technically you need a lot of different permissions like there will never be well, it's very unlikely at least that there will ever be a proper re-release of this with like fixed shit and like so we need to be we need to know how to emulate this or eventually all the carts will die and now the virtual console is like gone isn't it the Wii U virtual console is going to close soon so like or eventually it'll close and what then? And the answer is this. So we, we, we gotta, we need to know how to interpolate this data. Can you imagine, like, this is the saddest thing really is when we, because it's gonna happen because otherwise, like either it happens or we all die or like humanity ends in 150 years. But when we build fully automated luxury space communist society, we, or, or all die, but, you know, assuming we're in the timeline where we live. After all, Graham Linehan's been erased, so that gives us, uh, that increases our margin of survival by about five whole percentage points, just, just like that. But, um, in that future, when we have access to all games that have ever been made instantly and they're emulated perfectly, like, all of human history has opened itself up to us, um, we... So many games will be objectively a waste of time that existed to take your money and not be actually do anything. And so much of human history will just be this exercise in staring at something and wondering why we wasted our time with it, like how inferior our past selves were. And I feel like in a way, Donkey Kong 64 is simultaneously emblematic of a lot of stuff that isn't worth anyone's time and also worth your time by way of being this interesting look into a lot of elements of design history. Like, it's a historical artifact, almost. People will look back at this game and go, what the fuck were we thinking, you know? And that's, and that's important, you know? That's, that's real. Oh, I said emblematic, I said the word. It's prelapsarian emblematic. Simeon Stranus. Oh yeah, I can't believe we only we it only took us four hours to make it to the to the Donkey Kong arcade uh, cabinet, which we now can pull the lever of. Oh, I accidentally misread that as almost misread that as come and sexed me on another level. My sexting is on another level. What? what? Oh, they're getting they're getting show off for you with the with the arc of the bananas now. It's quite easy to get a lot of bananas for one character in a, in a couple of minutes. It's just there's a lot of them. Hey Candy, how's it going? Do I have everyone the inst everyone's instrument? You've already got my latest good stuff. Why don't you drop by later? Oh no. Who do I have an inst? I don't think I have uh, Turdy or or Svalbard's instruments yet. Oh no, I guess, uh, no, Tiny does, I forgot, no. Oh, Lanky doesn't, that's it, yeah. And his is the best instrument, it's the... No, 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 they, they, they did the funny thing where Biggie Kong has the, the awesome, the triangle, that's right. That's right, I remember it. Ah, uh, stand a little closer, Lanky, and I'll show you how to- Oh! Ah! <sighs> it's not technically bestiality, although they are different kinds of monkeys, so it is a little weird, even on that front. But... But wow! Please do not- Lanky definitely fucks, though. Lanky looks like a guy who... He's very confident in some th in his prowess. He's got- he knows... He knows he doesn't have to put any effort into a lot of things because he's good at something that people like. And I feel for him, you know? You know? It's, he's, he's me. I honestly feel he's got the most blue on him. I love blue. He walks like that. That's how, that's how I walk. Like, I honestly feel, I honestly feel represented by Lanky Kong. He's, 
He's me. <laughs> and... And it's and that's not weird. And also, like me, play, plays the trombone. Not true. I don't play the trombone. But wouldn't it be cool if I did? <laughs> that's that's my that's my whole story. Wouldn't it be cool? I almost learned to play the violin. I accidentally bought a small child's training violin that it didn't um it couldn't be tuned properly, <laughs> so didn't work. But have you seen Who Is America? I think I've seen half of one episode, but I want to watch the rest. Is this oh a swell to ah oh, because oh yeah of course because he can inflate. I take it all back. I take it all back. Lanky's nothing like me. This is my first inflation. <laughs> I'm letting you have another potion. Now that I know what you're capable of. What are the powers? At some point they're like, well, you know, we're kind of out of powers for these characters. So here's something ridiculous they don't need. So what is it for this guy? Oh, you can you can jump higher. Like <laughs> Yeah, j you can jump higher now. That was it. Technically, you need a pad, so it is a quote-unquote power-up, but, like, they, they ran out. They ran out of, of, of powers for some of them. Because some of those, like, you can go tiny, you can fucking fly. And then they're like, uh, high jump? Well, you know, I already have the power to fucking fly. So, height has not been the problem now, but it's just, you know, what are they going to do? Oh, this is a cool one. This is the one you use in the boss fight, isn't it? I do love some of these animations. You little fucker, they're banana shaped. I'm fucking on brand, Binch. Why do you have a beard? M apes don't have beards. Fuck you. I live the gimmick. This, unlocking this was really cool. Like, just, that's really cool. Like, it feels it, it, like with a lot of um, platformers or games where you have a power up, early on you feel kind of weak and deliberately hamstrung where you can't do things that you probably ought to be able to do already. And very few upgrades feel like, you feel like you're getting back your inventory, like Metroid style, as opposed to getting new cool stuff. And this, for me, is like one of the ones where it's like, oh no, they, they've just given you something instead of just untaken it away. And that's a nice difference. I appreciate that. Save. Okay. Cool. And now that we have all of these powers, surely one of us can fucking defeat that cage. I pressed. I held the button down too long, and now I just have to use this power. Um, well, at least I can get it back real quick. One sec. Oh, I pressed B. It's all the same button. He's the first member of the day crew. Oh. I can't wait to have caretakers on the stream to keep me alive. Right. How do we save this guy? Yeah. Please don't tell me that's it. Okay, good. It's a door. A door opens. But what does that do? How long is that door open for? Who knows? Where is the door? They showed you a door, but where is it? What's going on? Where are we? All these questions and more will not be answered. That's a... And here we enter into the next level of bullshit is... They gate off the area with powers that you already have and they know you have because you needed them to get here. Um, oh no, they don't even do that. They just can't push this down. What the fuck is that all about? Okay. That's even worse. It's like... It does come up though when there's like... 
the test is basically, hey, do you have this thing that you needed to be here? Like, yeah. And the only way it can get you is if you don't have enough ammo for it. And fuck you. Don't test me. I have all the ammo. I collected all of it. I guess it makes you feel powerful because you're using abilities that you gained, but it's not really any... Yeah. I can see through it. I can tell that it's just a deliberate, like, oh, I see, you did the thing. Like, yeah, I see it. I don't, I don't care. Classic tune. I fucking murdered him with a gun. He's dead. No, I'm kidding. He comes back. They always come back. Let's do the shit. How long is that there for? Don't tell me that's... Okay, now I'm offended that there isn't a timer. They just make you hit a switch to get a banana for no reason. Just just put the banana there and give me a thing to get to it. Like, this is simple design bullshit that we fixed. We figured this shit out hundreds of years ago. Why have that? Why? That's just there to make it waste slightly more time. Like... At best, the purpose of that is to indicate that there is a thing up there. But why not have a just have a cut? What the fuck? What are you doing? And they designed the whole game like this. It's turtles all the way down. They don't like stop at some point and go, okay, yeah. We yeah, we fired that guy. Now here's the rest of the here's the normal game. It's like no, no, this was this was all intentional, and they all signed off on it. You fucker! Okay, guys, it was really funny in that one when in that one beta you 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 gave the characters a million fucking bananas they have to collect separately. That was really funny, but let's take let, let's take them out for the you shipped it. What? <sighs> we did it. We got them. Lanking can collect green bananas. It's just yeah, just lay it all on the fucking table. What is the tag barrel? It's just a dimension, a fucking alternate space-time dimension that the Kongs only have access to. Can you be an honorary Kong? Or is it like blood? Do you need the blood of a Kong to, to access the tag barrel? Opla! 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 What is Opla? Opla! Opla! Gangnam Style! I said that very quietly because I was not happy with that joke. 190 bananas. Ready to go. I guess I should... I should... I should out my other bananas. We've got them all! I love Chunky's uh, character... characterization and design in this. I love his... his... Uh, his, his instrument is a triangle. That's just really cute. Um, I love his powers. I love that he's like scared and the menu is great. Chucky Kong is a fun character and I like him. And he should have his own game and it should play exactly like Lester the Unlikely, only with a giant ape who's very strong. I'm just doing this to... to ensure I know how many more bananas I need. Okay, so like an entire Kong's worth of bananas. It's like too many. We say hoopla. Right? Oh, he's a hoopla. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes a shocking amount of sense. Which means it was not intentional. There was a guy in high school, not high school, no, primary school. Let's, let's be fair. He was he was younger than than that. Who? That is literally just like 
almost literally frame for frame in terms of like basically what happens the the animation for flipping uh the banjo kazooie thing you can do the talon talon jump the talon the tal the talon i don't know the name for it the kazooie boost only it's moved around a little bit slightly that's the wrong guy <laughs> <laughs> I love the, the way the instruments come in as well. Like, do 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 saxophone. Trombone. Guitar. They've made five tracks and it seamlessly blends between them. Bongos. Oh, they've got a different thing in here that goes with the bongos. And this guy. Bum, 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 bum. His instrument is a triangle, but his thing is he's like a big guy. So he's boo, boo, boo. He's got a drum. It's good. I think they swapped them. Yeah, they, two of them don't follow the formula because the character because they couldn't be bothered, and their instrument is like too basic, like a bongo or a triangle. But whatever, it's fine. It's it's pretty cool. I just love it. Just like the 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 chunky version of that song and of the DK rap, like when his bit comes in and the thing goes. It's like yeah, it's cool. I like it. Can you just punch this? That'd be pretty funny. No, you have to, you have to, you obviously have to give, you fucking have to walk around for hours and give someone some coins before you can fucking do the basic thing. Gotta give my blood coins to, to Cranky before I can do my, my easy power that I started with. Or should start with. You literally... His literal power is that he's strong, and you have to... You gotta, you gotta pay the toll. What I'm actually trying to do here is, um... Get access to the Donkey Kong minigame. Because that will be... Whether or not I can do that fairly quickly will be the make or break moment for whether or not I start having guests in. Because if it's gonna take me ages to do, I might as well start on it now, and have guests, but if I can do it quite quick, while I'm still fully conscious, then I should do it now. I don't even have his gun yet. But then, once we've got all of the stuff, we can finally go back through all the old levels and get all the shit and finally begin the jamboree that is actually collecting all of the shit in Shit Slinger 64. <laughs> what a badass. I love this man. Getting the Nintendo medal quickly, la 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 la. <laughs> Finish your primary school. Oh! Oh, did I just fucking- okay. In primary school, um, one of the builder units in Age of Mythology said a word that's clearly like a made-up foreign language, but it sounds a bit like he's saying Fanny, and a friend of mine was thought that was really funny and would, and would do impressions of that guy's voice from the game over and over. It was really funny. Um, it was mostly funny that he kept doing it, when it's funny once if your sense of humour isn't his, or isn't that of a small child who thinks the word fanny is funny. But the real humour came from the fact that he kept saying it. And that actually did make it funny, it wasn't like annoying. It was funny because like, his, you knew he was gonna say it and he knew that you knew he was and he still did it and that made it funny. That's like the one type time I've, that type of joke has been funny to me is this one time a kid kept saying Fanny in a funny voice. Most of the time it's most of the time it's uh, a waste and bad. Like you, oh hu hello, yeah I know you're about to make a triggered joke. I get it, incredible. You don't have to make it even because I already no you made it great. Thanks. You know, some things can be can be left unsaid and are more funny. Wow. He's giving me more stuff because, you know, it's... He's got like two powers worth to get to be on par with the others. What's this one? I assume he's getting his big punch and his other power. His like go invisible thing. Oh. Press on Z, then press B to smash anything that takes... Okay, cool. What was his first power? Was it to go invisible? Or is that later on? I forget what his other thing is. Or his, his power is he can go big or something, right? One of the two. He can chonk. Oh, 
cross counter. <laughs> Kurasuki. I'm not, I'm not gonna do a fake Japanese voice. To this feels mean. Feels rude. Look how, look how big his hand is. Incredible the size of that lad. Does he need? Yeah, he needs an instrument. I haven't got his instrument yet. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's great. As someone with very poor musical technique, who was made to play the triangle in all the musical groups he was in because that was the only instrument I could reasonably play, you just ding it. There's no no need to tune it or anything. I, I mondo respect. You know, he he turns up. It takes a lot of you, it takes a lot of self confidence to play the triangle in front of, while standing next to people who can play real instruments. And I mean it. That's the that's the true test. Learning an instrument is piss compared to having the power to play a triangle in front of people and not feel embarrassed. Like, genuinely. Triangle players are braver than uh, real musicians. And also troops. <laughs> Sorry, uh, the thing I was saying didn't feel contentious enough. <laughs> I love that when he when he when you do that animation afterwards his animation is just he just kind of leans forwards like he just he's like I've committed to this big role and now I will fall on my fucking face if I have to That's right His power is a burp like it kicks ass I love this man He's he's evolved he's no longer an ape He's a man. Oh. oh wow, and in this area, they even have bananas that are his and not some other fucking guys who's gonna come back in later. they like... Chunky Kong is so cool and powerful and worthy of respect that they make his areas conform to sense. He doesn't have his gun yet, so that sucks, but... Oh, so what's the objective? To get up to there? Oh, I take it you, he can break these, right? Here we go. There we go. No? And what is the purpose of this room? Aha! Did they break in a way that another thing you already know how it works breaks? Thank you. Thank you, Donkey Kong. Again, that's a consequence of bad design and not of Chunky who is a genius. Chunky, like me, has a degree in English and doesn't want to alienate his peers. <laughs> it's all it's all it's all a farce. You can tell you can tell this guy's red war and peace. You can see it in his eyes. This is one of the one of the characters in uh, Sky High, the children's the fascist children's film, um, is his name is Warren Peace. It's great. Chunky's so powerful. Oh, a character you have to spend ages fighting? Nope. You gave me the power to never have to fight properly again, fool. Bad game. Again, they give you the power to kill everyone in the room instantly, and then they're like, but can you solve this tricky trap? It's like, n maybe. I am strongly considering it. And at that point, the only minigames that become, that are, like, remain hard are the ones where they, you know, where you, you go down a slide, Fa faster than reasonably possible while racing someone who can st take your stuff and every time, every five seconds it stabs you in the dick and like then it's hard but is there anything back here? what's going on here? what's this area? is this a little alcove for no reason? what's going on? what are you playing that video game? what's going on here? 
Okay, put me what's What is the purpose of this? Oh no, please don't tell me there's another fucking race here. Oh, it's just a free banana? Just an entire banana? And see, sometimes you go in, you go in a hole as tiny and it's like, here's an entire minigame that is all new mechanics you made just for this one character, this excruciating minigame that takes an hour to do. Ah, uh, oh, it's, it's just not the tag barrel. And sometimes it's like, hey, it's a fucking banana, it's right there. It's, it's yours, fuck you. I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted. How many, how many bananas? Five. No, nothing. Who of the Kongs do you think fucks the most? I think it's DK, despite Chunky's raw charisma. I think it's, um... I think it's a tie between Lanky and Chunky, but Chunky would never bring it up. He, he doesn't... He doesn't... He doesn't see... He doesn't see sex as a competition. DK probably brags about it a lot. Um... But it's probably never actually fucked. He just knows that if he puts up a front, he can, you know, pe people will people will respect him. But little does he know that he doesn't need he doesn't need to pretend to to be worthy of respect. That's the real that's the real secret. The real the real Donkey Kong. The real banana horde is the is the friends we made along the way. Speaking of friends, it's probably about time that I start trying to get guests in, and also I update the donation goal. So I'll do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna piss. I say by fourth. I, I think like every hour, um, and then update the goal and start calling people in and see what's going on. I'll see who's, see who's around. If you're watching the stream uh, and you're one of the people I tapped specifically to like guest message me and I'll, I'll call one of you up and we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll just see, see where the night takes us. Yeah. Just see, just see, just, yeah. just see where it goes. Am I on coffee number four? I'm on coffee number four. Let's, let's get, I'm gonna get a coffee.
Of course, my favorite part of the monkey is the personality. 420, babies! Yee! Oh, we did it! How's it going, piss crew? Ah, uh, Harris, the weed! Ah, uh, I don't have any weed, I'm sorry. I think somewhere I have a tiny, tiny little glass vial from a, literally a, maybe an actual decade ago of salvia somewhere. It's probably definitely gone bad. Which means it's even more smokable, but... I don't do weed. It just makes me tired and bored. I, I'm like, every... Every relaxing I've ever taken just makes me pensive and t tired and sad. Not sad in like a, like actually feeling sad way, but just in a like, I need to think about some serious things now and then I, but I'm too weak to do so and then I just fall asleep. It's pointless. I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a stimulant man. Coffee and, uh, and I don't know, what else? Pure. Pure grass-fed child blood. Uh, <laughs> mm. Oh. <laughs> Crack gang. <laughs> oh no. I, I do not endorse any any drugs, except for um, estrogen. Uh. Ba bum. Um. Sorry, I'm just uh, just making sure I'm hydrated. You know, you can be 50% dehydrated before you even realise you. Blah blah blah. Uh, everyone who tells you you should drink more um, uh, more water is right, but don't drink too much more water. It doesn't make your skin better. It doesn't make you any healthier. It makes you pee more. That's all it does. And then your body needs it and you gotta drink as much water as I do all the time. Even though it's unnecessary, it just goes through you. Eastro gang! <laughs> oh. I don't normally do this, but I just, I genuinely want to make sure I've drank enough water because I feel like that's something I could easily start to lose track of, so I'm kind of forcing myself to stop and drink some. Check your completion percentage. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Is there a proper completion percentage thing? Somewhere. Oh. <laughs> 97 total bananas. Totals. Two banana medals. Two boss keys. One battle crown. 22 gold bananas. Three blueprints. As <laughs> happens, you drink a lot of water, your body doesn't know what to fucking do with it. The monkey noises coming in each individual ear are a really cool touch. Thank you, Rare. Ugh. F? People saying F. Did the stream die? Coffee ASMR. You're drinking too much water. No! Mmm. <laughs> Oh, F is for friends. Okay. Only here to watch H Palmer Guy. So anyway, Donkey Kong stream? Oh yeah, I should probably continue to stream Donkey Kong. But first, I'm gonna change the goal. Okay, what are we at now? 
11... Wait. 11,000? What the fuck? Uh, 15, 150. Our goal is fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading some of the chat I've missed. donation goal. BAM! Buy mermaids a pool. <laughs> the charity get their own pool. Um, <laughs> that's, nah, that's bad. I'm gonna change that. Uh, and I'd like, I'd like, we made like 20 bucks just while I was figuring this out, so. Uh, BAM! There we go. Obscenely high goal. And then, and now, let's open, let's open Discord. Oh, fucking shit ton of people message me. Oh, that's so, wow. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna read out Sean's messages to me that he sent at, at midnight. Um, okay. Uh, what is a Kong? Diddy is clearly a different species than Donkey, yet they share the Kong moniker. Ditto for Lanky. What's going on there? Tiny Kong is larger than her younger sister, Dixie. Tiny Kong is a biped. Dixie walks with all four limbs. Why do only half the Kongs wear trousers? <laughs> I love you, Sean. Okay, start. I'm gonna call Sean. Sean, please be, please be, please be awake. Hello? 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 Oh, he's gone. I guess he never picked up. No. Oh, he's typing. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry. Sean, Sean hung up. I will be around in six hours. Oh, I just realized what I'm in for. Ah! Stop reminding me of how long this is going to take. Okay. <laughs> Ken Glock Choker Penders. Oh, P.O. Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. I take it that means that Pio is here. I'm gonna call Pio. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh God, hold on. Okay. Do do do. Did you see Momo's tweeted out your stream? Wow! Actual. Actual affirmation by mermaids. Wow. They they are now official they have now officially that means that definitely means Glinna has seen it. Oh wow. That means that does mean mermaids have technically endorsed a man who has said to a camera Fuck you, Graham. It's incredible. Recognition. I might even give them the money now. <laughs> I'm not. I can't even. I won't even joke. That's. <laughs> that's lovely. Wow. Ah, Pio. Hello. Oh. I'll keep going and see until they get in. Pio just typed. Oh fuck. 
Oh no. What's going on? I think we're having some technical problems. Everything alright? Oh! There we go. Hey! Hello. Hello! I forgot to actually plug stuff in by USB. How do I sound? You sound fine, yeah. You sound... Hey. Um, <laughs> actually, say something. Hello. Okay, I think you're loud enough. I'm gonna turn you up slightly, just to make sure. Okay. Mm. Hello, chat. There we go. Hello, chat. This is Pio. Um, Pio Brando in the chat. Um, where, where, where might people know you from? Twitter, I guess. <laughs> Twitter. Uh, the, the Haiti stream. Oh God. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. I've been thinking about Haiti two a lot recently. Haiti two. <laughs> They, they're gonna make a Haiti too. Oh, Devilfish is posting my one emote that I have. Okay, so we're now on the Donkey Kong Arcade, which is, no joke, the hardest part of this game for me as a kid. And I'm scared. But apart from, so I'm glad I've got you here for more support. <laughs> Kenneth no Clock Joker Pandas. <laughs> Hello, Did you just like the... see that again? Yeah, I just saw it again. Hello and welcome to the Ken Pender cast. Uh... Oh god, here it is. So, he, 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 he apparently already has like an Italian language translation or whatever. Um, of his game, of his, of his comic that isn't out and no one has read and will never come out. But when it, when it doesn't come out, you can read it in glorious Italian or Polish or whatever it was. No! <laughs> Oh god. What a wonderful man. Yes, I go by they them. Yeah. FYI for the chat. They, them. Yeah. Sorry if you mention that. I probably should start I probably should start saying people's pronouns considering the nature of the of the stream. Is this the fabled pender cast? Oh no, now there's <laughs> pressure. No, it's here. I gotta find content. Yeah, what's he up to? I mean, honestly, the greatest Ken Penders um event ever in history. Objectively what- Ah! It's a conveyor belt! Okay, objectively the greatest moment in history was when Ken Penders, because he, he, he made a bad bet on the fucking election, had no choice but to fucking- Circumstances dictated that he draw Eggman tickling Lara Sue's feet. <laughs> I don't- I'm not into this, I had to do it as a request because of the election. It's like, <laughs> you bet an election on this! Circumstances dictated otherwise. Does that, that's what he said, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What a fucking beautiful man! But he's, he knew he'd fucked up. Oh god. Oh, this is ear splitting. I can't hear the stream anymore, so I don't have to hear it. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm the true winner of today's stream. <laughs> I have seen King of Kong enough times uh, and watched enough speedruns of this game that I theoretically know, but this is just always a crapshoot. Oh god. No! Yee! Yeah. We did it. How did high it? can you get? This is, the, this is the last one. And then you have to do it a fucking again, uh, because this game is uh, piss, but... Why are you doing this to yourself? Uh, for the children. <laughs> also because I've, no, I've not been able to, like... You know, like, sometimes you do something, like, you just... You feel like you have to do something. You feel this... This burning need to do something that is completely unnecessary. Um, I mean, that's how I feel every time I talk about Ken Penders. Mm. Like, um, I... Oh god, I feel this just burning necessity to do it. Um, and I don't really know why. Um, I've always, I've been feel, I've been, I've been planning doing a stream of this sort of this game. And an excuse to do it for a very long time. And I finally have got around to it and just everything lined up that there was a charity that kind of needed some support. But, um... But it it happened because it happened, really. Like... <laughs> circumstances dictated. Yeah, circumstances dictated, <laughs> and now and now it's going. And I don't really know why. I just always needed to, and it's finally here. And now I'm free. That's one thing is gone. I did it. I actually did it immediately. I did it the first time. You did it. My fucking. 
I have I've this is this is proof to me that I have grown as a person. I even have the high score. Well, then again, the high score is like nonsense, but wow, I did it. Now you have to do it again to actually get the coin, and you need that coin. Not just for completion, but to actually beat the game. Like, this was the one thing preventing me from fighting the final boss for full on uh, five years. <laughs> like, I would come back and play it every now and then as a kid and not be able to do it. And then finally, years and years later, I found it in my dad's house and was like, I can do it. And I did it. Just two coins to play? Oh. You have to give them coins to play. I, I assume it's just, you have to just give them twice. This is capitalism town. Yeah. You have to give them a precious, expendable resource in order to... Yeah, you actually had to pay coins to use the arcade cabinet. It's real life. This is the most realistic game ever. So, I'm yeah, starting what? to think this is more high stakes than the Bloodborne stream that came immediately before it. <laughs> oh, did they do Bloodborne? Oh, it's Friday, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Oh. There's a really good, I think it's on Netflix actually, documentary about the guy who has tried to get the Wiggler high score, and you, what the fuck was that? Oh, I forgot that they change it. When you're playing for the coin, Donkey Kong, he, he, he fucks. He doesn't front. Um, yeah, so, I forgot what I was going to say. I was just going to say, Rod's tagged me in the message as well, because Mermaids tweeted out that they love you. Wow, I love you too, Mermaids. You know? They tweeted, please tell him we he's awesome and we love him. Wow, well, you're awesome and I love you too. And I, I do my best. You're good people. Yeah, uh, no, I try. I find the discourse just around the issue to be really difficult, because, like, I'm, you know, I'm far from the most educated on the topic. Um... I, I know enough to know that most of the nonsense people are saying is just utterly ridiculous, and it infuriates me. Um, yeah. So... And luckily there exist people who have made it their job. They didn't have to. It's a big pain in the ass, but they did it anyway. They made it their job to t try and help educate people, and that yeah. seems like a useful job, so... Yeah. Like... Yeah. As a whole, a charity helping trans kids is an objectively good thing. Yeah, I, I just... The, the worst part is, like, I, I, don't, I don't know the half of it, you know, like... It's been a useful resource for me, like, just, like, just re looking at the website when I was reading about, like, what had happened to the charity in general. Um, just, like, the, the, the one-page thing on, like, so, you know, so you are a parent of someone who has come out as trans. And, like, the way it was written was so kind um, and, mm -hmm. like, informative and, like, I hadn't thought about it at all on that level before. I'm just, like... I can imagine being a parent and having no idea about any of this stuff. Um, because the pre even the trans people have been around for a long time. It wasn't something that you thought about. Um, like if, if it didn't if it didn't affect you personally, if it hadn't come up in your life, you wouldn't know about it. And realizing how much information there's like an information disparity in terms of how much people know was a big thing. Yeah. Like, I don't know. So I was, I figured, oh. Yeah, there are things that I end up having to explain to people, like, I can't even think of a particular example right now, but sometimes you just have to go like, no, this, like, panic thing that people are talking about doesn't exist. Mm. Like, yeah, I it's always, it's, it's always quote-unquote concerns, but the concerns are, are meaningless. Yeah. Like, they're made up. Mm -hmm. Also, are you just collecting N64 orbs? Um, yes, that is a coin uh, representing uh, Nintendo. The company of Nintendo has been stolen by Donkey Kong. And, um, 64. Uh, the princess has been replaced by a coin. Capitalism has devoured princess... what's her name? Someone in chat is saying, I think it's Jen actually. Um, no, if I was Jen, my voice would be significantly higher pitched and also more Liverpool. Yeah. There's no films of having a cat! <laughs> That's not how Jen sounds at all. Oh my god, I was watching that uh, Final Fantasy VII compilation just yesterday and it killed me. <laughs> I haven't seen that one yet. It's good. I'm pretty sure Rod's made that one as well. Oh, Rod's awesome. is good. Yeah. Rod's did the Haiti thing. Yeah, I, wa I finally watched the Haiti one and that's why I was like, oh, I should rewatch the Final Fantasy VII one. Uh, the spread is now much higher of the bouncing thing. It's much harder to predict where it's going to be. 
and if it touches you, you die. It's effectively random. You have to just know know when it will miss you. Daisy! That's that's from the other one. That's from Super Mario Land. I'm getting all the princesses. <laughs> I'm getting all the different collectible princesses mixed up. Oh my god, you like threaded the needle on that one. That was clutch. <sighs> I have created many things in my life. But if I can create if I there's only one thing I've ever wanted to create, and that's justice. One. How does this one work? Um, just gonna wait for the fire to stop trying to stop stalking me. Okay, okay, okay. He's gonna come right back down. You fuck! Oh, I got him! St oh shit! Nah. I actually completely destroyed that fire. It's stuck. That fire is caught in a hellish abyss from which there is no escape. Oh no! <laughs> I can see it now. Ah. Oh, that marshmallow peep! You just, you just <laughs> trapped it. Caught between the living and the dead. <laughs> it finally got out, and then you you killed DK, and it, it it's gone. It's gone now. You've killed it. Shout out to one of my favorite subreddits, Tra. It's, oh yeah. It's funny, funny meme Reddit. None of characters to actually type it in. I don't know what TRA is on Reddit. It's probably like massively racist. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just not gonna go down that rabbit hole. I yeah. could easily look it up, but I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, like if you take a couple of A's out of the cool trans subreddit, it's like race realism. <laughs> like, something yeah. Like, fuck. <laughs> oh. The red asshole. I don't know. What? Oh, <laughs> collection of all the times a communist was mean to me. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Okay. So many people have messaged me saying, "Hey." It's awesome. I've got, and hopefully some of them will still be alive when uh, when you have to go to bed or whatever. Yeah, Awake, like rather. I honestly took the day off work today, and I, I just like wasn't feeling it this morning, and I slept like god awful last night, so I'm Aww. pretty well awesome. rested now. But I'm happy to hear that. Cool. Good old I also that's made so myself a tiny pizza earlier, and that was great. That's that's lovely. Tiny pizza. Yes. I like to buy like the like pizza dough, yeah. like a pre-made pizza dough that's literally just like a slab of yeah pre-baked, pre-cooked yeah. pizza dough. And instead of that, I got like naan that's like herb and garlic. So I was like, yeah. okay, it's good. Oh, it's tasty as shit. That sounds excellent. I used to do my own pizzas. Um, I live with a pizza purist. Uh, he has like an actual pizza oven. Um, oh yeah. And I. Uh, so like, uh, 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 there's a particular ladder in this game that the emulator does not know how to deal with, which is posing a small problem. Um, oh no! <laughs> but um, so like, he turns his nose up at my at my fun, happy, regular, normal pizzas that I make in a regular oven. But uh, they're really fun to make. They're really easy. It's like f like beer and self-raising flour, basically. Or something Ooh, like yeah. that, or something like that, and just to make it. I forget exactly ooh, how to make it, what the exact ingredients are, but they're... It's really easy and, and good. Mm -hmm. And doing it, the idea of doing it with naan bread sounds awesome, though. Yeah, That's great. that just reminded me, I used to make... Well, when I lived at home, since my mom has a stand mixer, I would make bread, and I haven't made bread in years. Oh. Yeah. Bread. Baking bread. My favorite bread show so on, on, on ABC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I did it. I got the Nintendo. It, it didn't take me five years. Oh, you did it. We just passed the milestone of 444444. <laughs> Hopefully we won't get all the way to 4444. <laughs> I honestly don't know what the fuck you're saying right now. Uh, the timer. Okay. The the oh, timer. yeah. I'm blind. I, I wasn't just saying it. words, I'm, I promise. <laughs> Sometimes you do, so I wasn't quite sure. 
but okay, in my in in in, in fairness, yeah. Uh, dealing with me is a constant nightmare. You forgot Pete's name last night. I forgot Pete's name. <laughs> I've known him for like two years. Oh my god. I just names just escape me a lot of the time. I'm just bad with names and faces and words and images and sounds. <laughs> Oh my god. I thank Jesus that at work, I the first thing I have to do during a call is write down somebody's name because I'm terrible with names and I just did not. Like, there are certain times where just the flow of the call gets away from me and we're writing down their phone number for, before I write down their name and I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna forget their name! Oh god. <laughs> Immediately after I finish typing this 10 digit number, I'm gonna forget their name and not be able to put it in there. God, yeah. I remember that feeling. I, I do that sometimes on long calls with people who I know I need to make a good impression with. I will write their name down somewhere visible because I want to be able to like say their first name offhand and I can't do that with someone unless I know them really well. Yeah. Although to be fair, a large portion of your life you don't need to first name someone like that very often. But sometimes yeah. there are those times. Hmm. But uh... I have just the right level of anxiety where if I'm meeting somebody for the first time, if I think too hard about trying to use their name in conversation, I will just freeze up and not do it anyway, so... Yeah, yeah. It's a weird thing to do. I know that, like, I think in, like, How to Make Friends and Influence People or some other bullshit fake book, it's like, um... Remember someone's first name and say it all the time and make eye contact at all moments, you know. Really just unnerve people and trust me, it's charisma. Um... <laughs> It's bullshit fake book. So, another classic moment of ultimate rareware badass design is they put a, a block that you can only break in certain ways. I think possibly with one particular character in the level that um, conceals an enemy who drops an item that's only for one of the characters. Um, and if you kill them with the other character, they take ages to respawn and the item disappears if you switch characters. So you have to leave and come back in, and it respawns the box. So you have to jump through a bunch of fucking hoops for no reason. <laughs> just... Why is this game? Like, it's oh just... my god! It's like they made a normal game and said, "How do we make it less convenient? Just how do we wring all of the game, all of it out?" And they managed yeah. it. It's longer than Zelda. Oh my Christ! I played Spyro as a child, and like Spyro is a collectathon as well. But it I think gameplay. if I was playing, yeah, I think if I was playing this game and I had an N64 as a child, because we like skipped over that generation or whatever, um, I think unlocking the characters and immediately seeing all this shit I couldn't get because it was locked to a specific character, I think that would drive me insane. Yeah. It would have exploded my tiny child brain. Yeah. And also none of it, a lot of them are like very clearly just where we're out of time put a banana here. Like, just now, there was an object where it's just, play an instrument we know you already have because you needed it earlier. He here now. And you play it and a bird comes in and says, oh, I found a banana, hi! It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, what was that? It was just like the music tile thing? Yeah, I just played music and they gave me a banana. That was it. <laughs> just play music on this tile. And technically it's gated by needing a um, a power that you get in the level. But that's not even a puzzle. That's just come out, on, you know, on your way out, here's a free banana. And yeah. And so much of the game is that, and then inexplicably, just at random times, one banana's like, we need you to do this incredibly difficult mini game we made just for this yep. thing, and you need to do it twice, and and it's really hard, and also every time you fail you have to walk back to it, and it takes ten years, and I'm really curious what, like, if you gave a professional a, a copy of this game, or like the code for this game, and said, design what this game is or should be if it was well designed. How much of it would even be left? Like, yeah. Would there be any? Like, I'm so curious what what the good Donkey Kong 64 even looks like, and it might be nothing like this at all. And that's always been the thing. Is like, what is that? And maybe it would be ukulele, but people hated ukulele because you know they're no longer children. Yeah. You know, we were trained to think this, you know, like yeah. this was the game. These were the games we were playing as children, and then Ukulele comes out and doesn't have any of it and is pretty good. And people are like, this isn't, this didn't revive my, ch this didn't put all my childhood 
wonder yeah. back in me. It's like, well, no, but... This didn't reprieve me from my midlife crisis and <laughs> the realization of my own mortality. Yeah, but... I hate that I have to get that deep to explain to people why they didn't like ukulele, but that's really it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there are some design problems, but they're not... They're nowhere near as egregious as all of Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. And actually, just talking about, like, uh, where you said if you handed this off to a designer and said, like, make it good, yeah. that reminded me of, like, the Wind Maker, Wind Waker HD remake, because they, like, completely revamped the Triforce quest. Yeah. And, like, drastically shortened it, because I guess at that point in the game it was just, like, filler. Yeah, yeah. It, it always felt a bit like filler. I found it less annoying than some people said. I felt like, at the time, it felt... Like, people are exaggerating, but then going back, it is pretty bad. Um, <laughs> and then, so then fixing it up makes a lot of sense that as a response to criticisms, like, and, you know, maybe as a pure design choice. Yeah, um, they made sailing faster as well, somebody says in chat. With, um, with Majora's Mask, they, um, they made a bunch of changes that made it actively worse, apparently. Where they, like, took out a bunch of actually important stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I actually have not fully played any Zelda game aside from Breath of the Wild, which I've played like four times. Wow. Um, I've played every Zelda game except for um, the one on the Wii with the motion controls. That everyone Skyward I actually like Skyward Sword. Yeah, and like Minecraft. almost everyone says it's bad, and I'm like, well, I'll be the judge of that, but I've never played it. I never actually got around yeah. to playing it, so I have no way of knowing. But I, mean, I will eventually. I'm sure there'll eventually be a remake which fixes all the problems anyway, but... uh. Yeah. So I well, get to play the I good version people... that everyone else never got. Yeah. Like I get, I get, I I won by not playing it. But yeah, I think people tend to dislike it because of like the you know it's waggle controls. The Wii's motion control is not great. Mm. Um, but I Plus actually there's, like there was a certain amount thing. of yeah. Zelda fatigue. Um, yeah, there'd been a lot of Zelda games at that point. So yeah, a bit like you know Dragon Age Two. Like it was worse, much like. Um, uh, Skyward Sword. It was worse in tangible ways, possibly. I haven't played it, I can't really say for sure. But on top of that, there've been a lot of them. Like Yeah. Um, that's the real the real killer. Yeah. Someone brought up the Zelda DS games in the chat as well. I actually mm. I should take back what I said, um, because I played through like ninety five percent of Spirit Tracks and I really enjoyed mm. it. <laughs> I, I meant to get to them and then just never did. Uh but uh Wow, yeah. Um I've I've not played I, enough of Breath of the Wild either. I've still not really got around to like fully digging into it. I love Zelda in that game, so I that, like every time I I get the urge to play it now and then, and I'll like start up a new playthrough and I'll like go on this big marathon oh. that takes like twenty hours to get all the memories collected because I I love her. Hmm. Oh. I don't know where I'm going in this game. It's too confusing. <laughs> when I was a kid, this is why it took me like 70 hours or 50 hours to get 69 bananas, is because I would just get lost in easy paths. Mm hmm. <laughs> just. In your defense, to me anyway, everything does look the same. Yeah, it's a factory, so everything's, you know, industrial. Which is nice, a good theme, but it's, it's themes that. It's theming that doesn't work for when it's all yeah. you've got. It's the whole game. So, inexplicably, the only like two times I've successfully got here, it's with Tiny. Tiny is the true Kong. <laughs> Everyone can... else is just <laughs> a cheap imitation. <laughs> I wonder if I, ha I wonder how many bananas I have, pound for pound. Let's check them out. Oh, now, you now you can go play the arcade game with a completely different character. N no, you, no, you can, <laughs> only Donkey Kong has the power to pull the lever. Um, and also, I will never touch that. I never have to play that arcade game ever again in my life. Oh my god. So. No. Ah, oh, these are some horrendous creatures. Hmm. Trough and Scoff are great. Are those actually their names? Mm-hmm. They're excellent. Why does everything in Donkey Kong have to have, uh, breasts? <laughs> I heard that echo back into my own ears and I have so many regrets. You'll also notice that they're blue and pink. So, 
I don't think they're gendered though, I think that's just their colours, they're just blue and pink, because they're nice colours that go well together. Like my keyboard. <laughs> Their keyboard someone, is really good though. Someone sent me a curious cat asking me what the keyboard was, and I really want to do like... I wanted to show it in a video and like do a QA and a answer to some of the good curious cat things, but I didn't get around to it yet. I should do that though. Oh my god. 12,000? What the hell? How is that happening? Yeah. And people are asking, are they male presenting nipples? Oh god. I mean, I don't know. I'm actually a little surprised that Tumblr didn't completely go to the dogs when they brought in that mm. policy. It basically it has. I, th I think a couple of people actually did. Um, I mean, it's it, pretty much gone to the dogs in general, but that happened before. Ah. Yeah, I don't, it's... Oh, oh, I get it. That's why there isn't a banana to change Kongs in this room, because you can go in here and change Kongs and come out, so it wouldn't be needless. It's only an extra fucking step for the player to have to go through, and they're used to that at this point. Oh god. So my chat says, show us stem keycaps, H-bomb, you're a red, blue, or brown guy. Oh. I think the answer is red and blue. Uh, they're blue. Uh, they're, they're cherry blues, so they're very clicky. But, uh... Yeah, that's my color. I used uh, the Miami. Is this the name of the style? Um, I thought you had red ones as well. Um, they're kind of pink. They're just oh, yeah. pink, and, pink and blue, yeah. I don't think I have red there ones. There it is. I see it on your webcam. Yeah. They're, um... I don't know why I have a mental image of exactly what your keyboard looks like, but I do. Yeah. Well, it comes up a lot. I've, keyboards are basically all I talk about uh, when I'm not streaming. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's like, I don't know. I don't re... <laughs> I don't like buying things for myself because, like, it just feels weird. Uh, but yeah. I just, I'm... like, yesterday ordered a solid state drive off Newegg to, mm. like, bolster my terrible old laptop, and I, I can't wait for it to come in, but it was just like, I it could feels, buy yeah, it feels other bad, things. It? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of that. Um, but I bought this keyboard like years ago, and it was at the time it was it was like a hundred quid or something. And I was like, and that was not not counting these keys. It was just black keys. And at the time, yep. it felt like a ridiculous extravagance, and it was a ridiculous yep. extravagance, and still is. But Welcome to bonus. I it feels nice, and I use it. I do a lot of typing, so it's technically justifiable as like a work thing. But yeah, it felt weird. I'm personally in the camp of if it's something that you use regularly for like. Even more than a few months, it's been a good purchase. Yeah. This, it will always feel slightly weird to me. Like, even though it was cool. Uh, because... It's just the thought of, there are people out there who can't afford... Actual, mm -hmm. important, basic human things. And... Yeah. I don't know. There's a, there's a Mitchell and Webb... Sketch, where... Mitchell keeps... Doing... Relatively high-class things and encountering someone with a low-class job and just thinking... Just panicking. And I know that feeling, like he, like he's in like a fancy restaurant, and he see he meets Robert Webb, and he's offering to like dry his hands for him, like he's like a towel boy, and he and Mitchell just suddenly screams, "Why didn't I work to make the world better?" And oh god, I just have that constantly whenever I see anything that I could afford and go, "Oh, that'd be nice." I just think, no, yeah. people, no one should have this until everyone has basic shit, but yeah. But I, I like think as with more. a lot of things, like, if you actively think and feel bad about something, then that's, like, a good sign that you're, like, you know, that you have empathy and you're yeah, trying I just wish at I, least. I just to, wish uh, I could do more. I'm, yeah. try well, I get, I'm, I'm literally saying that on a charity, <laughs> but, like, I don't know, it's it's one of those things where... I would all like... only one dolphin. Yeah. <laughs> We're only one mermaid. But we all just... we. I'd recommend it to anyone who does a lot of typing, and I, I don't regret buying it, but mm -hmm. it's it's a piece of active consumerism that I it automatically still hate about myself. Yeah. I try not to feel too bad about it, because it's like, feeling bad that I did it doesn't rectify it at all. Yeah. Yeah, at a certain point you just have to be like, okay, this is a quality of life thing, and I'm gonna let myself enjoy it. Yeah, I did it. It's it's happening, yeah. This, 